Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our Fire Emblem Awakening journey, but before that, I shall insert the previous inter-grinding, like, uh, support dialogue. That way I, because I recorded them, me going through all the dialogues, that way I could do more grinding without having to do a full thing, because I feel bad if I don't actually go and do, like, chapters and stuff for recording. So yeah, that'll be inserted here. And here we are just to go through the various support talks so I can continue grinding and slot this in to the next time that I play. Gregor and Tharja, their A rank. Tharja, don't fuck this up. If... <laughs> I don't know who else I'd give you to. Don't... Don't hurt Gregor. Tharja, you finish researching spell, yes? Read all tomes? Collect bat wings? Please say yes. Gregor is very much wanting to talk to dead person. I am ready. Now then, whose soul do you wish to summon? Gregor's brother. His name is Gregor. What? You have the same name? Yes. When he died, Gregor took Gregor's name. His fitting tribute, no? What? Oh, gods. That's why the curse has never worked. The brother whose name you took must have died with unfinished business. If he clings to this world, the name would still belong to him. Huh? And that makes spooky magic not work, right? Yes? Pretty much. A curse won't stick if you don't know the true name of the intended target. Uh. You want to know Gregor's real name now, yes? So you can charm him? Wow. Later. Right now, we need to focus on your brother. Imagine his face. Imagine his voice. Now, talk to him. Hello? Gregor? Yoo-hoo! Are you hearing me? B brother? Is that you? Oh, he is sounding just like him. Thorja is summoning soul of brother. My brother. You brother, I am so sorry you die because of that thing I did. If you bear grudge, tell me now. I atone for injustice. I bear no grudge against you. You did all you could to save me. You must not feel guilty. I am proud of you. Oh, Gregor, I tried to save you, but bandits were so many. You must forgive yourself, brother. Forgive. <laughs> oh, Gregor. Well, did you say what you had to say? Yes. yes. All thanks to Tarja. Gregor's brother was taken by bandits, and he could not save him. Gregor had large hole in heart, but now hole has been filled in. Gregor, have no more regrets. You can take soul or whatever now. Hmm. I'm a little tired. Perhaps next time. Yes. Gregor, bring soul next time we meet. You take them, yes? I think they're perfect for each other. Gregor is just such a nice guy that maybe, maybe he is fixing Tharja. I'm still going to have to save before, once they get to their S rank and then see how the S rank goes down. Maybe it'll be wholesome. Maybe that will be the marriage thing where Tharja will say, I will take your soul, but first we have to live a life together. That, if that's how it goes, perfect. Tharja is fixed. She'll still be weird to everybody else, but she'll have somebody that she won't be mean to. Let's see. Olivier and Lunku A rank. Curses. I, need, I keep messing up this guy's voice. Curses. Well, I never do this! Um, oh, you, you were so close that time. Pardon? You call that close? I call it pathetic. I've yet to strike a flask without it shattering into a million pieces. Huh? Well, sure, but... Uh, I'll never be a match for Basileo. Lulone is better. Well... Have you forgotten what Basileo said? <sighs> that I'm a genius? His greatest rival? Empty words designed only to flatter. I have talent, but I lack the true heart of a warrior. That is the meaning. What? That's not true at all. You will become his rival someday. You mustn't give up, Lanku. What? I understand now why I cannot cleave the flask. I have speed and power, but my heart is weak and irresolute. Without courage and conviction of purpose, my blade wavers and shatters the flask. <sighs> um, okay. Yet even though I know this, I am powerless to cure myself. Especially in your presence. Don't give up. Hey, I've got an idea. 
What are you doing? Release me! Release my hand, I say! Breathe, Lanku. Let the tension flow from your body. I know you can do it, Lanku. I believe in you. Olivia. No one is more resolute in purpose than you. You just have to believe. Very well. Just let go of me. Oh, gosh, sorry. I didn't mean to be so, um, sweaty. Guys, this is embarrassing. I left a big red handprint on your chest. Um, does it hurt? Right. It does not hurt, but the experience was nonetheless terrible. However, I hear what you say, and I shall not give up. Yes. That's the spirit. I believe in you, Lanku. I know you'll make Basileo proud. I'll return the favor. We shall see. And I like their relationship, too. Now, Donald and me. Uh, nah, still no good. The hook's too big. Maybe if I... Nah, that ain't it neither. Whoa. Donald, what are you trying to do? Yeah. This dang fishing hook I'm making just don't want to work for me. See right? See here? The way it is now, the fish will just slip right off as soon as it starts fighting. Ah, uh, yes, it needs a barb on the inside. Here, may I? There we go. Wow, thanks. I owe you one, Neon. How'd you know so much about fishing hooks anyhow? <laughs> oh, just something I read about at one time or another. Huh. Should have guessed. You always got your nose in one dusty book or another. I just wish there was some way I could return the favor. Say, you know anything about uh, building snares? I'm actually a pretty good trapper. Oh. Not much, I'm afraid. Perhaps you teach me some basic traps sometime? Yeah. Darn tootin' I will. We can start with a box trap. Ain't nothing to it. Sure, sounds great. Seems like an adorable way to go. Now let's see how Vike and Chash are. Cause Vike, if you if you do not do good, I will save Chash in the fan chance that somebody else more deserving comes along. Hey gads, lady, that stings! Oh my. Hush, that's how you know it's working. Hey. Your bedside manner could do a bit of work. You're the one who tried to fight my poor Wevern Minerva with your bare hands. If I hadn't come along when I did, yeah, I if you hadn't come along, I would have won. I was just lining up my finishing blow. Really? Is this when you were curled on the ground with your hands over your head? Or when you were running amok like a sad headless chicken? Huh? Hey, how long were you watching old Teach anyway? Poor you. Oh, look, another cut. Let me just... Yeah! <laughs> Now, the next time you fancy wrestling a wyvern, don't expect me to save you. Stay away from the stables unless you want to serve as Minerva's supper. You're ah, that dumb lizard just got lucky. Next time I'll show her who's number one. Number one in her feed bowl, perhaps. Not a bad. We'll have to see uh, how things go in the future. Because if they come out to be a respectful thing, if he respects Minerva in the end, maybe I'll give, and <laughs> give him Cherish's hand in marriage. Cordelia and Gaius. Listen. Uh, Gaius, weren't you wearing those exact same clothes yesterday? Huh? Not a problem. Well. And unless I'm very much mistaken, you also wore them the day before that. Hmm. Eh, yeah, well, this is my favorite outfit. Why are you so interested in my attire? You fancy me or something? <laughs> I'm simply trying to offer a piece of friendly advice here. Perhaps you don't realize that you look and smell like the floor of a tavern. That shirt is covered in honey, and the less said of your pantaloons, the better. Oh, yeah? Oh. Uh, Actually, I uh, hadn't noticed. <sighs> Not to mention your hair needs a trim and you have crumbs stuck to your face. Is that a turkey like I see sticking out of your pocket? Heavens, guys, don't you care about your appearance at all? <sighs> oh, I've skipped. I'm a dumb. I'm not some fancy waist who needs to strut like a strut about like a peacock. <laughs> well, perhaps you should consider it regardless. <sighs> all right, all right. Message received. I'll put on some new clothes, mother. Right. Don't forget to comb your hair. And wash those old clothes in vinegar, or you'll never get the smell out. I'm going now. Shall we mop Once washed, if you want to reduce the wrinkles, take a willow reed and... What? Hey, don't walk away when I'm talking about laundry! Seems like an amusing... band of interactions there. But with that, I do believe that that is all of our supports for now. And I shall slot this in... at the beginning of the next recording. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Matt, hello. This is the second batch of, like, support dealies that I'm going to do for grinding. Oh, but before that, we also got somebody. We got Cherish up to level 20. 
And I don't know if a Wyvern Rider is like an advanced class. Let's see. Doesn't seem like it. We're going to go ahead and do this. She becomes a Wyvern Lord or a Griffin Rider. Hmm. I guess I'll go Wyvern Lord because not only her first diddly D, but it also opens up her to have spears so she has options rather than just going down. So yeah, Wyvern Lord. Interesting. Because I don't think we've ever, like, had the opportunity to make somebody a weapon rider. Then again, we haven't second sealed that many people. So maybe you need a Pegasus Knight to second seal into a weapon rider. And now her weapon looks badass. Hell yeah. I've always been fairly adaptable. Huzzah. I don't think that's anybody else. Now we're going to do some supports. Crom and Gaius. Gaius, do you have a moment? Huh? What's up, Blue? What? Blue? Uh, right. Well, you must have traveled a lot in your old line of work, yes? Yep. Sure did. Us thieves tend to outstay our welcome in a hurry. No. The reason I ask is that I've had a little chance to see the world properly. I've journeyed on dip diplomatic business, but that's pretty much it. And frankly, one majestic court looks very much like another. I've often wondered what it would be like to roam the world free of royal burdens. Oh, yeah? Ha! <laughs> You royals up in your pointy towers really don't have a clue. You think us commoners are free to just spend our day sauntering along? Then we pick daisies and gaze at tourist attractions and eat bonbons all day. Forgive me. Look, that's not what I was implying at all, and I think you know it. Hey. So that's the problem. Tired of silk pants and undying adoration of the masses? <sighs> I try to appreciate my situation, but being royal can be incredibly stifling. It's a comfortable prison, true, but a prison nonetheless. Huh. Sounds like a serious case of not being able to count your blessings. Right. It's true. I'm never hungry. I have a hot bath and a warm bed. People leap to my aid. Perhaps you're right. What right do I have to complain of such a life? Bingo. Kind of neat. And I guess we'll do Gregor and Lanku first, because why not? Good grief. Oi, Lanku! Why are you having furrowed brow and narrow eyes? Gregor is ally and friend, not foe! Hm. I know all about you, Gregor. Boss Leo told me. He says you're the only sellsword to ever match him in single combat. No, no. Oi, that is from distant past. Gregor barely remembered those times. I've also heard that you were once a candidate to become Khan of Regna Ferox. What? Oh, you sent Gregor on trip to Memory Street. He was forgetting about that. Predictable. So the stories are true? In that case, I challenge you to a duel. Huh? Do not wave sword in Gregor's face. Edge is seeming very sharp. Right. I wish to fight using real weapons. A true duel for true stakes. Nonsense. You forget Gregor is sellsword and professional. Gregor is not unsheathing sword unless someone is paying him much gold. What? Craven, have you no pride? Or do you fear the wrath of Lanku? Uh. Gregor is fearing no man, but he also does not fight without clink of coin. Besides, you waste your time, yes? A fight with me will not make you strong. <laughs> Enough! Gregor and Lanku are comrade in arms, yes? No more talk of fighting. <laughs> Damn him. Interesting. Gregor has such an interesting past. And uh, I guess we'll quickly save just in case. But I think we're going to stick with Longku and Olivia. I think it would be a good thing. <laughs> yeah! huh? Huh? Did you miss it? No. Look again. What? Oh my gosh, Longku, you did it! Hmm. At last, I have succeeded. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Sorry. Well, sorry, I guess I kind of grabbed your hand there, huh? I know you don't like being touched, but I just got so excited and... No. I don't mind. With you. What? You don't? Oh, jeez, this is so embarrassing. <sighs> but you're the one who grasped my hand. Uh, right, I know, but look, it's complicated. Right. In any case, I must thank you for helping me to master this skill. I could not have done it without you, Olivia. You make me stronger. And that is why I would like to offer you this. Wow, what a pretty ring. Wait, does this mean? I would like us to marry. 
I thought you didn't like women. No. <laughs> I don't, as a rule. But you are no ordinary woman. With you, I feel no embarrassment. I do not tremble or grow tongue-tied or... Huh? You don't actually dislike women at all, do you? You just get nervous around us. Are you saying I'm scared of women? Absurd. Because I'm not, well, mostly not. Well, perhaps. <laughs> I would never have guessed. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Don't you see? This means we're exactly the same. We both get embarrassed and we both have a hard time around people. We're going to get along perfectly. Uh, uh, does this mean you accept my proposal? Yes. Do you even need to ask? I've liked you for ages, Lanku. I'm delighted to hear it. I hereby vow to never leave your side. I dedicate my sword to protecting you. <laughs> and I promise to stay by your side as well for the rest of my life. Adorable. Although the bit of like, him fearing women and being nervous around women doesn't kind of dive into like, his similar thing with like, you know, his fear because a woman died because of him he blames himself with. But uh, now Gregor and Tharja. Now this is definitely the one we need to save over the most because I fear for Gregor, he is a poor man. I don't want him to get hurt. Gregor must thank Tharja again. You did him great favor. Brother hears apology and forgives Gregor. Now he is like no man. Yeah, well that makes one of us who's happy. Oi, but Gregor says thank you many times over. Why are you giving him that evil glare of fury? Ever since I hosted the soul of your brother, something has been wrong with me. Did she kind of like feel his brother's love? And now, that, that would actually be funny. I can't stop thinking about you. It's incredibly annoying. Ah, you fall in love with Gregor. He's okay. He's the same thing before. But he's good. Gregor likes you too. That is why he is bringing you present. Yeah. This is a ring. Look on inside is having Gregor's name carved in. If you accept, then we can carve your name next to Gregor's together forever. Pretty much. You intend to continue using the name of your brother? Yes. Thanks to you, I know he forgives Gregor for unfortunate and violent death. So now Gregor bears his name with pride. He's also very used to it by now. Well, it's as much years as your brother's, I suppose. Hmm, maybe now some of my curses will actually stick. For you, Gregor, do anything. Even if it turns him into a toad. I don't think that will be necessary. Besides, I've got a better idea. <laughs> so not as bad, but that's... <laughs> I have a better idea. It is kind of worrisome. But alrighty. Cordelia and Donald. Hey. Cordelia, I was hoping you might spin me more yarns about that Pegasus knight. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like I piqued your curiosity. Yeah. Baked it and pricked it too. I think I'm falling in love with her. Listen. Well, keep this under your hat, but it's long been my dream to become just like her. I'm truly delighted that you're as interested in her life as I am. Although, needless to say, I'm nowhere close to realizing my dream. They'd probably laugh me out of the shepherds if they knew. She must have been a mighty special if a gal I'm as amazing as you can't measure up. Oh, I'm not amazing, Donald. I'm actually a very ordinary knight and woman. Huh? Ah, donkey dung. You're amazing in more ways than I could ever count. <laughs> Stop that. You shouldn't try to flatter me, charming though it may be. I ain't flattering you, Cordelia. Cross my heart and hope to spit. And to prove it, I'm gonna start listing ten good things about you every day. Huh? Er, every day? Yep, Monday to Sunday. No days off. Right. Well, this should be amusing. I wonder how long you'll last. Oh, up. just you wait. I can do this for ages. Adorable. Cordelia and Stahl. Huh? Hello, Stahl. Hey. I was drawn here by the sound of sweet music. Was it you playing? Yes. You were kind to say so, but in truth, I'm quite out of practice. No. What? No, you play beautifully. And one of my favorite Elysian folk songs to boot. It's been so long since I last played. When I saw this harp at the local market, I just couldn't resist. So, uh, I remember how you in, uh, you entranced the court by playing at Crumb's birthday ceremony. Those were some good times. Say, why don't you put on an encore performance? It'd be huge for morale. Well, oh, that court concert was a long time ago, and I don't even remember the music. 
Although I suppose I could muddle through it if I had a score in front of a score in front of me. Wait, you were just playing from memory? That's even more impressive. Please, Tom, I'm serious. Stop trying to flatter me. Compared to Phila, I'm just a clumsy amateur. Hmm. Well, sure, but Phila is the best I've ever seen. She could have joined the Royal Orchestra. Yes. I've always dreamed that one day I might be as skilled as her. Silly, I know. Nah. Hey, never say never, especially when you're so abundantly talented. <laughs> Stop it, seriously. See, now I'm just getting embarrassed. Er, oh, hey, would you look, oh, look at that. It's chore time. Gotta go. <sighs> that Cordelia, she's never satisfied with being second best in anything. I'm gonna have to stop, step up my game if I ever hope to compete with that. You are literally average man. The man who is average. Um, excuse me. Do you have a second? I need some advice. What? What? Me? Sh sure, I suppose. Uh... It's just that I've been feeling, well, useless lately. The fact that she's turning the other way, I wonder what the twist is gonna be. I don't know. That's crazy talk. Your dancing is an inspiration to us all. Oh. There must be something I can do besides flail my arms about. If you say hmm, so. Well, can you cook? I mean, my grandmother taught me how how to bake. It's because she's pro. I don't know. Maybe she. Because obviously the twist is she's talking to herself, I guess, and he is saying just the right thing. So it, even though she's not hearing him, she's going along. Yeah. I mean, my grandmother taught me how to bake cakes and other desserts. Would that really be helpful? Are you kidding? Everyone loves dessert. It's the best meal of the day. I suppose I could give it a shot. Let's see, I'll need honey and raisins and a whole lot of butter. Okay. Mm, I'm drooling already. <laughs> You're pretty smart for a tree, you know. Thanks for listening. Oh, she was talking to the tree. Guess she didn't notice me there. Well, good luck all the same, Olivia. <laughs> I think that is the pinnacle of him being invisible to people. So the Cavaliers spread out a fan, and the Pegasus Knights sweep in from the flank. Oh, goodness, I can practically see smoke rising from your head. Whatever could you... That is, I'm slipping into Gregor with him now. Whatever could... Great, I lost my Virian voice. Whatever could have you working at such a fever tilt. Yeah. And practicing strategies and scenarios on this game board. After a hundred forced marches, these pieces are still ready for more. It saves me from running everyone ragged with training exercises. Yes, yes. Oh, very clever. You even carved little enemy forces for them to fight. I'm impressed. And that doesn't happen often. With other people, I mean. Hmm. Well, as long as I control friend and foe alike, it's not as effective as I'd prefer. After all, I can't plan for the unexpected when I know all the moves ahead of time. Oh, yes. Then permit me to ha be your opponent. I shall strike with the nobility of the lion and defend the grace of the swan. Because swans are good defenders? Yeah, never mind, I accept. So then we'll take turns moving units until one of us claims the other's commander. Agreed? Uh. Agreed and agreed again. Oh, what fun. Begin, please. By all means. <laughs> Hold. I need to retract my last move. Ha <laughs> 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 were that all enemy general so generous? But alas, this is war. Checkmate, my good lady. <sighs> Blast. I hate to admit it, but I'm well and truly beaten. Oh. oh, I told you I was both a lion and a swan, did I not? Hmm. More like a chicken on the far end of a horse. I'm no noble lord, but your strategy wasn't exactly what I'd call honorable. No. Even Zorowin, aren't we plain spoken? Oh. At any rate, I appreciate the practice, but I must return for a meeting. Oh, but I've barely had time to gloat. <laughs> <laughs> well, all part of the simulation. In actual war, you see, the loser is never present to witness gloating. Oh. No, wait, don't leave, Neon. Let us play again! That's cool! I, kinda, I really like that he's actually like a, a tactician in his own right. Uh, yeah. You. Yep. Me? Pretty much. Yes, you. You're a thief, right? Skilled at pilfering and all that? I've got a little job for you. <sighs> I'm listening. Maybe. I want you to bring me a strand of Neon's hair. What is your obsession with me? Huh? Well, that's unbelievably creepy. What do you need her hair for? <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't usually take sinister chuckles as an answer. Sorry, kid. I'll find someone else to help you with your weird hobbies. What? This is not a negotiable request. Huh. Oh? And what are you gonna do about it, sunshine? Curse me? You yes. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and a hex or alive that's managed to put a curse on Gaius the Nimble. Go on, sunshine. Do your worst. Much. You're making a terrible mistake. Done. Ooh, you're so scary. Do you see me shaking here? 
Man, if only she Tharja came along faster, maybe I would have paired her up with Gaius because he could slap back at her. Now let's see how Cherch and Vike go. Vike, what are you doing to Minerva? Huh? Huh? Me? With Minerva? Well, I, uh, oh, you mean this Minerva? Yeah, I ain't do nothing. Oh my. Then why are you crouched in the mud while she stands over you and drools? Down, Minerva, down! That's a Gerd Wyvern. Why, yeah, I do believe she's playing with you. I haven't seen her this excited since the time she brought down the wild griffin. <laughs> yeah, well, you know how it is. Mutual respect grows when you fight with folks and all that. Ain't that right, Minerva? <laughs> Are you saying you've learned to communicate with my Minerva? This is really quite amazing. She's actually taking a shine to you. Right. Yeah, but you're still number one in her book. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you two are getting along. <laughs> That's right. That's us, all right. Bosom buddies. Thicker and thieves. Pals for life. Just don't get too friendly with her. She's my Weavern, remember? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! Old Teach wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> now, will you please clamber out of the mud and come over here? You've picked up a few more scratches from your latest play session. Oh, I ain't gonna use more of that stingy stuff, are ya? <laughs> we'll see. I'm liking the way they're going. The fact that Vike gets to, like, wrestle with Minerva is hilarious to me. But that is another batch of supports. The Longku Olivia S rank is really nice. The Gregor and Tharja S rank is really nice. Even if it did still end with her being <laughs> creepy. Viking Sherish is stacking up well. And again, Virion being a tactician and giving the Robin a run for their money is amusing. And Gaius laughing off Tharja's stuff is also funny. I like it. I like these characters. I like these interactions. Some of them are kind of eh, but other ones are... But most of them are good. So far, the it's just like most Tharja ones are kind of clunky and like, oh, she's kind of evil. And then in a decent amount of... And then again, I'm just so upset that the Robin and Crom one was so rom-com stupid. Why? All the other romances are at least normal and sweet. The characters actually get to know each other. They have the kind of a through line. The only good part of the Robin Crom romance is like, ah, we're kind of partners in crime. No secrets between us. And like the overall awkward build up to the romance in the end is decent enough, but like, Still, I wish it was handled just a bit better. But yes, that'll be all the supports for now. And I do believe that I won't do a third one. Um, well, the third one will be when I actually sit down to play the game again for recording. And I'll have to slot all these in. Meh. Funnily, I was going to just, like, finagle it. Be like, ah, I'll go to a different OBS screen and just, like, show it on my... Uh, like, uh, internal Windows player, except it's like, I think VLC, I forget what it's called, Blah. But then my upper brain was just like, no, don't try to cheap out on it, just go ahead, do the thing, just edit it in, sure it requires rendering, creates probably a bigger file, but it will be a better experience in the end, you are not trained enough to, like, live edit. And have it just be a diddly dee. Then again, I could have paused it. I had pause recording as a thing, but blah. Either way, with the diddly dees being slotted in, where's but a single event? Ah, oh, it's Anne. What's this? Well, the look great in my shop. I can't believe that she. Well, luckily it's our shop. She's not gonna force me to buy it from her. And yeah, I did a lot of grinding. I probably did too much grinding. In fact, actually, before we do all that, because I I just figured, eh, screw it, I'll just do a batch of grinding now and hopefully never have to grind again. Uh, it was my methodology, and I got a fucking lot of diddly dees. Like, Krom got two abilities. Aether, use Soul and Luna in succession. Oh, for a moment, my brain thought, but like, but Krom doesn't have Soul or Luna. Soul is an ability that heroes get, because I saw Gregor and uh, Donnie get them. And Luna is a Great Knight ability, because, like, Frederick got it. 
but I guess it's like, oh, Sol and Luna be in a single package is Aether. Aether is Sol and Luna. And then Rightful King. I am going to assume that it is only for him. Increases the trigger rate of the unit skills by 10%. Neat. Also, I just realized I did no grinding on his spear. I need to... Before I forget, we're going in here. We're grabbing you a spear, my boy. Bronze spear. <laughs> that must feel so pathetic for you. But Cordelia, what did you get? Rally movement. Use the rally command to grant movement plus one to units within three spaces for one turn. Oh yeah, because I think like uh, Libra has uh, had a rally thing, but I've just never used it. And Gale Force allows the unit to act again upon defeating a foe? Okay, Dark Flyer OP. Sure. Then there's me. I got Rally Spectrum. Use Rally to grant plus four to all stats within three spaces for one turn. Okay. And yeah, we already know what Ignis and Solidarity all these are normal. Quick Burn. Grants hit avoid plus 15 at the start of battle. Stats gradually revert at the start of battle. So I'm going to assume that it's like, that is, also I forget, I haven't been training your spears either. But yeah, I'm guessing that that means at the start of a battle, not like an individual she attacks somebody battle, but like the moment it's like, ah, oh, the, the beginning of your first turn basically. And then uh, we have hit a void plus 10 when there are no allies around. Interesting. Vike did some grinding and he... Uh, Despoil has been a fun time. He has gotten me a lot of stuff while we were grinding. Gamble reduces hit by 5 but grants plus crit. Hmm. Frederick. Let's see. Increases the trigger rate of dual guards by 10%. I'm going to assume that's when an ally jumps in to block an attack. Nothing new, it's just the rally luck, which is, yeah, use rally to grant luck plus eight to units within three spaces. I guess would be situational for the most part. And then, yeah, soul. Absorb HP equal to half damage dealt. Neat. Nothing new there, nothing new there. Rickon has rally magic. Increases magic plus four to units within three diddly dee. Rally speed. It's the same thing, but for speed. Slow burn. Increase hit avoid by one each turn. Huh. So it's kind of like a, a build-up. And we haven't been leveling your sword either! Lucky seven. Grants hit avoid plus 20 for the first seven turns. Well, I guess if you want to speed blitz things, she's cool. Oh yeah, rally resistance. Use rally to grant resistance plus four. Very interesting. Sword fair. Grants strength plus five if using a sword. Magic plus five if using a leaven sword. And Astra, strike five times at half damage, which is super cool. Nothing new there. Rally magic. In, uh, rally defense. He has Luna now. Defender, grants plus one to all stats while paired with another unit. Super good. Hit rate plus 20. That's just super good. I don't think he'll ever miss. He ain't miss. He also has soul. Tharja has vengeance. Which is add half accrued damage to attacks. So it's like you have to take damage and then you deal half of the damage you've taken. As mi I, I assume that means missing health then. Lethality. Fell an enemy in one hit. Trigger equals skill stat divided by four. And what is your skill stat? It's not even 10%. <laughs> Granted! It is a super ability. It instantly kills. And then it's just the other people. But now, let's see. A rank Lissa with Krom. Hey. How goes the missin the missin? How goes the mission I gave you, Lissa? Mm -hmm. It's over. I talked to everyone. I asked them all how I could be a better princess, just like you asked. Mm. And what did they say? Mm. A dozen different things. Some guy said I should be more calm and stop throwing tantrums. Another person said I should stop being so picky about what I eat, which was weird. Oh, and a certain someone told me to stick my pinky out when I drink tea. Ugh. Really? And the most common response? Huh? What do you mean? No. Surely some people had the same advice, right? What did you hear the most? 
Well, there was a whole lot of people who said nothing. Good. So there you have it. Hey. Here I have what? Hmm? I told you you're fine just as you are, didn't I? And the people agree. <sighs> yeah, but I still don't feel like I'm contributing anything. Right. When you approached people, how did they react? And I mean before you said anything. I bet a good coin that they all smiled at you, right? Huh? What? No, they... Hmm. Yeah, I guess they did. <laughs> you make people happy, Lissa. You motivate and inspire them just by your presence. I might instill confidence, but I don't make them happy. And neither would Imran. <laughs> you think so? Yes. I know so. And believe me, that talent is more useful than you'd think. Everyone else knows it too. That's why they told you not to change a thing. So if you won't trust my opinion, how about theirs? You're their princess, after all. No, I trust them, I do, but... <sighs> then stop worrying. You're going to be a princess all your life. That's plenty of time to figure it out. Just be yourself and the rest will come naturally. Huh, that actually makes sense. Thanks, Krom. Very sweet. And Sully b -rank? Hey. Oh, hey, Sully. Hey. Hello, Krom. Hmm? Where, are you where are you taking all that equipment? Would you like some help? Yeah. <laughs> this is nothing. I'm just trying to clean up around this crap hole. Good. It seems like every time I see you, you're working like there's no tomorrow. Just try not to overdo it, all right? It's not worth it if you wear yourself out. <laughs> wear myself out? Ha! <laughs> That's the point, Krom. This is part of my training regimen. What? You're training to clean a tent. Right. Gods, but you're dense. I'm training my muscles. Looking stuff builds pure strength a hell of a lot faster than sparring. Also helps with balance and coordination, you know, all that crap. Really? Oh, I guess that makes sense. Plus the tent gets clean. Yeah, yeah I've always been efficient like that. Any chance to train is a chance I'll take. <laughs> I bet you've built up Yeah. I bet you've built up some real strength. How about a little demonstration? Oh, yeah? Ha! Come at me, little man. Just don't start crying when I wipe the floor with you. I like their like interactions as well. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I've Cordelia, <laughs> I paired you with too many people. There's too many here. It's too many, but let's get it on. Uh, well, let's see. Beautiful, kind, strong, wise, um, beautiful. You said beautiful twice. Not to mention, you've listed all those other things before as well. Yeah. Wait, I ain't done yet. I'm thinking hard. Mm. You got a big nose. <laughs> That's not a compliment. Huh? It ain't. Look, just admit you've run out of good things to say about me. I'm still impressed you managed to keep it going for so long. I'm starting to think that perhaps I am a little bit amazing. Yeah. I told you that already. Loads of times. Fact is, the more I get to know you, the more amazing I think you are. Thank you. Well, I've never been quite so flattered in my life, that's for sure. And as a little thank you gift, I made you this. Huh? What is it? A letter? Yes. We've been spending a lot of time together, and I've grown to know you quite well. So I drew up my list of my own for you. Huh. Gosh, that's a lot of writing. Seems all my good points. Huh? Oh no, those are your faults. <laughs> oh, ain't quite what I was expecting, but mm, yep, okay, I see. Yeah, I could a second page and a third. Right. Flattery's all well and good, but we must know our faults if we want to grow. So I made this list to help you, and I want you to do the same for me. Then I can fix my weaknesses and make myself a new Pegasus Knight of Legend. Well, if that's what you want, I reckon I'll give it my best. But I've got to warn you, it ain't gonna be easy finding fault with you. That's funny. Longku B rank. What has happened to my oaken practice sword? I'm here. Oh, I replaced the blade. The old one had a split in it. How diligent of you. <laughs> no one checked the training equipment since the start of this campaign. Not even Frederick? I took it on by, upon myself to sort through the wooden blades, shields, and dummies. I see. Listen. Uh, Lanku, did you know the sweat of, is pouring down your face? Right. Yes, of course. I was just finishing my leg strengthening drills. Yes. Well, it's a good timing because I have a fresh pile of towels. Uh, a fresh pile? A fresh pile of towels from the laundry. I'll leave one here for you. Well. Right then, to the sound of thunderous gratitude, I'll go and prepare supper. You like cabbage stew, don't you? Hmm. It is my favorite dish. Are you the one who keeps preparing it at every meal? <laughs> oh, so you did notice. Yes, that's me. I like to keep morale up by serving little treats now and then. Anyway, see you at supper. <laughs> you help people even when they don't know it? Wait, what's someone else cook tonight? It's time for your first fencing lesson. Huh? 
Er, but what about the whole pathological fear of women thing? No. I shall instruct you from a distance. Now tell me what you wish to learn. Thank you. Why, that's downright gentlemanly of you. <laughs> and Cordelia and me. How? I used the last of the salve yesterday, but this cut still stings. What to do? What to do? Listen. You're not out of salve. I restocked your medical supplies this morning. Huh? You did? Oh, that's great. Thank you, Cordelia. You never miss a detail, do you? Right. I just like to stay on top of things. By taking stock of everyone's equipment, I know when something needs replacing. Uh. Wait, you keep track of everyone's equipment? All in your head? Yes. Of course. Imagine the chaos if our potions and equipment ran out at the same time. <sighs> Gods, I can certainly see why everyone calls you a genius. <laughs> do not call me that. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I, I meant no offense. <sighs> no, of course you didn't. Please forgive me. It's just that my superiors called me that from the moment I joined the Knights. It was so very hard sometimes. Little Lady Genius, they called me. They teased and taunted. Oh. They mocked me, too. My appearance and my javelin technique. Gracious, I had no idea members of the Pegasus Knights could be so spiteful. I assure you, when I called you a genius, I meant it only as a compliment. Yes. I know. I'm just overly sensitive, that's all. Well, if you ever need to talk, just let me know. Thank you. Well, since you offered... What do you think of this javelin? I'm not sure about the balance myself. Huh? Er, I meant if you ever need to talk about... Ah, never mind. <laughs> That's funny. And now they shall go to talk javelin. Hey. Krom! Hey, Krom! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Listen. Vike. Ha <laughs> ha! Found ya! <sighs> do I look like Krom, you oaf? I wish you'd stop chasing him around. Hey. I ain't chasing no one. We're our rivals. Our paths are destined to cross. <sighs> Destiny doesn't need your help, and Krom doesn't need a rival. Stop bothering him. Let the men concentrate on winning this war. What? Bothering him? He loves sparring with old Teach. Ain't turned me down yet. Well. That's because you corner him and refuse to go away until he agrees. Hear me, Vike. If you hold any love for Krom, you will let this go. Whatever. Mm, the Vike is starting to think this ain't about Krom at all. It's about you. Oh, for the love of... Fine, then. If it's a duel you want, I'll accept your challenge. Huh? You? <laughs> That's right. If you want to fight Krom, you have to go through me first. <laughs> oh, I get it. You think you can weaken me so I'll lose when I take on Krom after? Ha! I could take the two of you with both hands tied behind my back. Let's go, sister! Vike is an asshole. Listen. Brickin, how are you feeling? Are your little are your little legs tired from all the marching? Hey, I'm not a child, you know. <laughs> Apologies, I didn't mean to imply that you were a child. I'm just worried you might be overdoing it. There's no shame in admitting you need the rest. We all get tired sometimes. Hey. Not you. You're always full of beans. I never heard you complain once. I don't know how you keep going all the time without stopping. Huh? It would take a lot more marching than this to wear me out, I assure you. Ha, yeah. <laughs> I knew. I know. I can march all day. Well. Then why are your legs still quivering like pudding? <sighs> but my legs are not quivering like pudding! <sighs> Rickin, you can barely stand. If the enemy were to fall upon us now, you'd be dead. Listen, when we set off again, I want you to ride on, in one of the convoy wagons. You might even have time for a quick nap. You could use one. <sighs> hey, I don't need a nap. I'm not a... Right. Once you're feeling better, I need your help with some camp chores. But you're no good to me right now, so sleep, and that's in order. Fine. Sheesh. Goodness, that was difficult. And Cordelia and Pan. Huh? Er, Pan? <sighs> Listen. What are you doing to my Pegasus? Well. So this steed belongs to you? Yes. Yes, she does. Right. You are lucky. She is wise and a faithful creature. Thank you. Thank you. But how do you know she's wise? <laughs> we talked. What? Oh, yes, of course. You talked to her and... Wait, you can talk to my Pegasus? Like... With words? Yes. Is that strange? No. Uh, no, I suppose not. Just a bit surprising is all. We knights can communicate with our steeds, but it's not so direct. Please. I'm not a knight. I'm a Togwall. But enough talk. Take good care of this animal, understood? See you later? Uh, maybe? Right then, back to business. We had a wound th that needed bandaging, yes? Hmm, what's this green stuff smeared around the cut? A healing salve. So that's what she was doing. <laughs> Well, we must remember to thank Pan the next time she drops by. Nice little moments. And Cordelia and Libra. Ugh, these crates are heavy. Um. Cordelia? Yeah! Oh, gods, look out! 
Guys, oh. forgive me. <laughs> Again, the little cut-in of the words just amuses me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I startled you, didn't I? No, not at all. I just tripped over this pebble here. It's my fault for carrying too much at once. I couldn't see where I was going. Beg pardon. Are you unharmed? Yes. Yes, thanks. Just a bruised toe. Well, that's good news, at least. Here, why don't you help? let me help you? Huh? They're very heavy. No. Not a problem. One, two, mm -hmm. Now then, where would you like them? <laughs> well, if it's not too much trouble, I was taking them down this way. Yes. Lead on, my lady. <clears throat> Is here all right? Thank you. Yes, perfect. Thank you. You've been such a help. Um, was my pleasure. But you always haul such but do you always haul such heavy crates by yourself? Yes. Well I hate to bother anyone else, and if I can do it myself, why not? Really? That simply won't do. Next time you must call for me so I can help. I won't take no for an answer. Thank you. Oh well, if you're going to be that insistent about it, then sure. Dear dear God! Okay, time for me to go on a bunch of ones as well. Hello, Neon. I've thought about your previous offer. Yeah. The favor? Oh, good. What will it be? Just say the word. Well, I recall seeing you eat bear with great relish shortly after we met. I should like to you to teach me this skill. Eating bear, that is. Oh. I remember that night. Lissa was in a froth, said it smelled like old boots, was it? Wait, so you didn't need to eat any either? Oh. I fear I've rarely been able to choke down wild game and bear least of all. But as the wall grows harsher, I can no longer afford to be picky. There may come a day when bear is the only food available to us. Best I train to overcome my aversion now when our situation is not so dire. I see. True, and even the finest night isn't much use on an empty stomach. All right then, you're on. Let's go get, let's get you eating some bear. My thanks. Yes, I will train till I can consume anything without concern for taste or decorum. Like an animal, or a savage, or like you, Neon. Yes? Uh, Neon, did I say something wrong? Hey. No, nothing. Don't worry about it. So, Frederick, you don't have a problem with more common meats, do you? Oh. Beef and pork are fine. I also enjoy a good chicken on occasion. Oh. Let's start simple. Take a bite of this jerky. Of course. I shall tear into it with gusto. <laughs> gamey! So gamey! What? <laughs> what is this? Right. It's bear. Leftovers from the same bear we ate that night, in fact. I saved some. Uh, healer! I need a healer! Animal or savage indeed. How rude of him. Guess he wasn't joking about his aversion to bear, though. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Frederick is... <laughs> Frederick is much more charming than Crom. Hey! Neon, where are you? Uh, huh? There you are. I was just... Oh, you're sleeping? <laughs> uh, you must be really wiped out. Not that I blame you. Getting wrapped up in all this. <laughs> Looks like it's time to quietly, gently hold your nose. <laughs> hey, get, blah, blah! What? Risen wolves! Risen riding wolves! They're all. Wait a minute. <laughs> Blark? Oh, God, that was hilarious. <laughs> Lissa, God's bless it. I was fast asleep. And dreaming of risen and wolves, apparently. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried to resist. I really did, but it was just too perfect. Who does such things? Is that really how your parents raised you? I don't know. I never really knew my parents. Oh, oh, oh right. That was... Uh... Oh, don't worry about it. I know you didn't mean anything by it. And actually, there's something else that I should apologize for. Huh? Whatever it is, I'm sure I can forget it if you can forgive my heartless comment. Right. Really? That's great. I was so sure you were going to be so angry. So he was kind of doodling a pic of you in your big new book of battle strategies. And then I kind of spilled the ink and kind of ruined the book, kind of, completely. I really, really didn't mean to. Uh, what? But that was a rare text. I had just started to... <sighs> I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Accidents happen. <gasps> oh, phew. And with Vike. Hey. Vike, what are you up to out here? What? Eh, me? Up to nothing. <laughs> yes, sir, just a whole lot of nothing. Oh, looky there, pretty flowers. I sure do love me a pretty flower, don't you? Yep, love them, all of them. Say, what's your favorite flower, Neon? Mm. Okay, now I know you're up to something. Right. <laughs> nope, not me. Just looking at all them pretty flowers is all. Nice, ain't they? Back off. Liar, you're trying to see who's bathing in the spring over there. Spring? There's a spring? Why, I had no idea. 
Don't play dumb with me, Vike. Now stop leering and get back to camp. Oh, come on. You don't understand. You ain't a man. Sometimes a man's just got to see what can be seen, you know? No, I don't. Thank the gods. Right, little goody two-shoes, ain't you? Interrupting my fun just went, oh, fine. Guess I'm done looking at flowers. But don't think you can keep me. Huh? What's that? That's Sully's horse, isn't it? Gods, but it's a fierce-looking brute. Do you see how it's glaring at us? It's almost as if it thinks... What? It's gonna charge! Run! Run for your life! <laughs> but, but I didn't do anything! Yeah! <laughs> okay, that is amusing to me. <laughs> That's amusing. I like that one. It's kind of a twist on the Crom female Robin situation. Although I... I hmm, that actually makes me wonder. Like... I can assume that the Robin and Crom supports are vastly different between the male and female Robin, but I could see male Robin working decently within that as well, just like swap out the you ain't a man to something more like, like, oh, because you're just a goody two-shoes gentleman, just like a continuation of that. Now, what would he want more than anything? Maybe a sword? Wait, what am I thinking? He already owns the most treacherous sword of all. Hey. Hey, Neon, you thinking up a birthday present for old man Crom? He's hardly old, Stahl, but yes, I am. And to be honest, I'm at a bit of a loss for words. Ha, <laughs> isn't that a pickle? Buying for royalty would be hard enough, but you're, we're in the middle of a war. It'd have to be a small to transport easily with the caravan and nothing excessive. Yeah, cheap is good. Crom's never been much for gold and glitter anyway. I was actually thinking of brewing up a special concoction for him. You mean like a potion or a tonic? I didn't know you dabbled in such. My father's an apothecary, and he taught me the trade. Homemade gifts are always the best. Would that... Would that I possess any such talents? So, uh, uh, say, my ingredients are quite costly and difficult to find in the wild. Oh. Perhaps I could help gather them? Thanks. Yes, exactly. Then the present could be from the both of us. <laughs> Perfect. We can solve both our problems in one fell swoop. <laughs> then it's a deal. This almost makes me wish that there was, like, expanded like supports where multiple people were involved kind of like that except we actually get to see Crom's reaction how discomposing hey. that looks like a pretty bad spill muriel are you all right Very well. a minor contusion benign <sighs> everything you were carrying went flying i see your herbs some papers uh what is this a book a journal <sighs> unhand that madam <clears throat> sorry sorry i didn't realize it was important mm -hmm. important hmm Muriel? Right. I suppose it does bear some import, yes. It's a lodestar of sorts, one that points the way to the truth. Wow, who wrote it? A famous mage or something? No. Not famous at all, no. The author was my mother. Yeah. Ah, that explains the rough binding. Er, uh, no offense intended. Still, that's amazing. Was your mother a mage as well? Or perhaps a scientist? Hmm. What is the impetus for your inquiry? Huh? Impetus for my... You mean, why do I ask? I don't know. I'm curious. Wouldn't most people be? Mm -hmm. An automatic reaction to conversational stimulus, I see. Um, um did I say something strange? No. Curious, perhaps. Meriting closer study, certainly. Spontaneous reactive curiosity. Fascinating. But what is the underlying mechanism? <sighs> I really think you're reading too much into this. <laughs> I like all these sweet little rea interactions. Mm -hmm. The others claim it's a ghost, but I refuse to put stock in such things. <clears throat> Claim what is a ghost? <laughs> ah! Oh, it's you, Kellum. You surprised me. Sorry. Sorry. You looked a little worried. I just wanted to see if you were all right. Um. Well, there is something troubling me. The men are reporting strange incidents, baffling phenomena that defy explanation. Okay. Goodness, like what? Well, for example, whenever a group of us gather, drinks materialize on the table. Also, there's always one more cup than people present. But everyone denies that they brought the cup or served the drinks. It's most peculiar. So peculiar, in fact, that some are claiming it to be the works of spirits. <clears throat> it's not a ghost. Huh? Oh, of course not. I just, uh, I just don't know what it could possibly... Okay. It's me. I serve the drinks. <laughs> you? But wait, why would you bring one cup too many? If you say That's so. my cup. I guess it's just that no one ever notices me. I see. What? That's almost as absurd as the ghost theory. That is amusing. Poor Callum, though. Um, Crepsicule, Crepsicule. What did that mean again? Darling. Are you studying, Neon? Yeah. Oh, hello, Maribel. Just reading up a bit. Really? Reading up? How lovely. I didn't realize the lowborn read it all. Huh? 
Did you just drop by to look down your nose at me, or was there something else? A noble's nose engages in no such activities. I was sincerely impressed. If my turn to phrase offended, I apologize. Forgive me? Yeah. Uh, all right, I take it back. But was there something, any, anything you yes. needed? Yes, I'd hope to learn more about you. Huh? Me? Why me? I'm not that interesting, you know. Yeah. Can you fault me for being curious about an amnesiac with a genius for strategy? You've also earned quite a bit of trust from our dear friend Lissa. It's only natural that I'd want to learn more about the stranger in our midst. I suppose you might simply say that I hoped we could become friends. Unless you object, of course. Um. No, I don't object per se, but weren't we already friends? <laughs> oh, I'm pleased to hear you say that, Neon. Yeah. <laughs> you really can be sweet sometimes, Maribel. Well, then ask away. If I know the answer, I'm happy to tell it. My oh, lovely. That's very kind. Well, then, tell me about the quaint customs of the unwashed masses from whence you come. I'm especially interested in this slang of which you brutes seem so fond. I take back what I said, and I take back the take back before that. <laughs> hey. Oh, hello, Libra. What are you up to? Yes. I'm drawing a picture. Whoa. Gracious, that's very good. Great shading, exquisite detail, and through it all, an air of melancholy. It's very like you. Really? Melancholy, truly. I don't mean that in a bad way. Actually, you should probably just ignore me. I know very little when it comes to fine art. No. Well, to be honest, I don't know much about it either. Um. Really? But you're so talented. <sighs> I've been told my pictures are technically proficient, but lack artistic soul. <laughs> Poppycock! I mean, look at this sketch. It's bursting with soul. I bet whoever told you that was simply jealous of your talent. <laughs> well, I appreciate the sentiment. Here, you can have this if you like it so much. Huh? Are you sure? You didn't draw it on a commission or anything. I don't ever do drawings on request. No exceptions. <laughs> well, if it's not meant for anyone else, then yes, I'll gladly accept. Thank you. That's just sweet. That was just sweet. I like all of these interactions. Again, it's like the only ones that I'm like... Like, uh, blah, blah. A little bit weirded out by Tharja's, but that's mostly... Uh, that's intended, because Tharja's a weirdo. But... The only one that I kind of don't like, uh, m like, at least 50-50 don't like, is the Crom Robin romance. All the other ones are good so far. Great Paladin's Helm! What manner of beast is that? Ah, uh, hold, it's only Pan. But why is she prowling about in beast form? And why is she charging me? Back, foul beast! Back, lest my sword taste you! <sighs> Finally, you are one hard, hard one to catch, man, Spawn. Why did you chase me down in beast form? I feared you were planning to eat me whole. Hmm. Running on four legs is much faster. Did I scare you? No. A knight does not know fear. This is more like surprise. Or perhaps a lock. No. Lies, I hear your heart race even now. You were scared as a newborn pup. It's all right. You, <laughs> you do not need to pretend for my sake. I have grown used to fear and ignorance from your kind. <laughs> you mistake me, good lady. I hold no fear of the Togwell. Togwall. Behold what is in front of your eyes. Are we not conversing as equals? Well. If, that is, if this is true, then why were you scared? <sighs> when I was but a young boy, I lived in a small village in the hills. One day I wandered into the forest where I was set upon by a mountain wolf. My wounds were most grievous. Many in the village doubted I would survive. When you came running, you reminded me of the beast that attacked me, and I apologize, good lady. I did not mean to offend with my actions. <sighs> I'm sorry, Frederick. I had no intention to... I have no... Uh, my brain is a melting. I had no intention to remind you of such things. Would you prefer if I avoided you on the field of battle? No. That is unnecessary. When in combat, <laughs> the enemy is before you and you lose all fear, yes? Spoken like a warrior. My thanks. Yes. Although if you could avoid moving, that might help. <sighs> yes, well, I'm sure I could... Wait, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, what? What did you mean by that? What did you mean by that? So, how was your first experience riding on the back of a wevern? Hey. It was amazing! Everybody looks so tiny from up there! I'm astonished she trusts you enough to let you ride on her back. You two have truly formed a special bond. <laughs> well, I've been feeding her and giving her water and cleaning out her stables, so... <laughs> Is that so? Why, thank you, Vike. Right. Oh, it's my pleasure! Anything to help out a friend, right? <laughs> I used to think weverns were hideous looking. But Minerva's just a big old puppy. Thank you. It's true. They really are the most adorable creatures around. We've been together for over ten years, and she's more beautiful than ever. What? Wait a second. You were riding Minerva back when you were a kid? How's that possible? Where'd you get her anyways? No, no. 
I met her when I wandered into Wevern Valley. Huh? Blistering behemoths! You entered that chasm of horror alone? As a kid? How's that? I wanted to have an adventure. Minerva was just a baby then, with the cutest round eyes. <sighs> That's kind of amazing. Okay, so you brought her home, right? What then? Did you fight duels to get to know each other or what? <laughs> Not exactly. I was trained to be a cleric at the time and used a very heavy staff. Whenever she misbehaved, I'd just bonk her on the head. Soon she was a meek as a bunny, and I was riding her to school. That must have been a handful for your teachers. Ever since then, Minerva and I have been simply inseparable. Oh, I forgot. I also apologize for bonking her on the head. Beautiful, smart, funny, and kind. You are some woman, Cherish. Sir, you should know that flattery will get you nowhere with me. It ain't flattery. It's the truth. Seriously, old Teach ain't bright enough to think up flattery on the spot like that. This is actually a very, like, sweet relationship that's building. I like it. Let's see. Yes, that's everything. Time to saddle up and head out. <clears throat> Cherish, wait. Before you go, I wonder if you could take these trousers to the tailor? They need patching. <clears throat> you mean this little tear? I can patch that myself. What? Oh, but would you mind? Huh. Ha, I would, wouldn't have mentioned it if I wasn't offering, Kellum. Wow. Wow, thanks. I'm terrible. I'm terrible at sewing. Last time, I nearly took my eye out with a needle. Well, I'm sure there are plenty other things you can do well. I, I guess, but I always, always jealous of folks who knew how to stitch their own clothes. Who are you? I'm surprised. <laughs> what was that voice line? Who are you? <laughs> That's not fitting here. Who are you? Did I mishear that? <laughs> what? I'm surprised a cute young lad like you didn't have a girl to do it for him. Cute? Surely you know how ridiculously adorable you, that armor of yours is. The village girls must have fawned all over you. My armor is adorable. Anyway, I must be off. Don't want to be late for the market. Wait a second. What is, what's this about my armor? We're slowly getting down to the end. Libra, give me a piggyback ride. Ah, careful there, Nowie. I didn't see you coming. Hey, what's the scar, Libra? Here on the back of your neck. Don't touch it. Hey, sorry. Does it hurt? No. No, no, it doesn't hurt. Not there, anyway. The wound is long healed. So why aren't I allowed to touch it? Because it might reopen a deeper wound that yet causes me pain. Like inside your neck? I'm speaking of a wound of the heart. Oh, I get it. Wait, so your heart hurts? Why? When I was a child, I was raised far from the home of my parents. In truth, I was abandoned by them. Oh, no, that's terrible. Why would your mother and father do that? Oh, my. Perhaps they hated me. Perhaps they had a better reason. I do not know. When they left me at that place, I began to howl most piteously. I clung to my mother so desperately I had to be forced off, which is when I sustained the scar you see now. <laughs> That's so sad. Pardon. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you, and it's long in the past now. Listen. Well, I don't care. I'm going to make you feel better. Yes. How will you do that? Just like a cramp. I'm gonna rub your heart until the pain goes away. So, uh, uh where do humans keep your hearts anyway? <laughs> I've spent years avoiding that. <laughs> what lies within mine? I'm not entirely sure if I could find it again if I tried. I'm with you. Okay, fine. Then I'll help. We'll find out where your heart is hiding and get rid of the pain together. That's sweet. All of Libra's interactions so far have been sweet. Hey. This tea is so good. <laughs> Isn't it divine, darling? The leaves are infused with a citrus aroma, so it was certain you'd like it. Huh? I like citrus? What? In all the years we've shared tea, you've only mentioned the flavor of if it's a citrus blend. How funny that you didn't even know. Oh. That is funny, and a little embarrassing, I guess. You know me better than I know myself, Maribel. Clearly. That's hardly a surprise, darling. I am your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's so true. Wait a second, I don't know what kind of tea you like best. Wow. Well, now, that simply won't do at all. Why don't you take a guess? Mm, is it rose tea? <sighs> Such a common flavor. Huh? Tea with milk? No. Oh, why not just drink from a mud puddle? <sighs> this is hard. Maybe I knew more about tea. What other kinds are there? <laughs> uh, well, I suppose I'll have to take pity and simply tell you. My favorite blend right. is Clearly. black tea infused of still warm blood of an adult male grizzly bear. <gasps> <gasps> Lisa, what is wrong with you? What manner of lady spews tea? It is simply not done. <gasps> What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? Who would drink such a thing? No one, darling. It was only a jest. Now wipe your mouth, please. What? I actually believed you. All right, what's the real flavor, then? What's your favorite tea? Yes. 
Why, whichever ones you enjoy, darling. That way I get to appreciate both the beverage and your enjoyment of it. So if you ever find a blend you're especially fond of, just say the word. Uh, I'm alright, my will, thanks. I still kind of feel like that wasn't a real answer. Now this is making me wonder if there was, like, ever any big changes between, like, translations or anything. We'll go ahead and smack this guy down. Because he spawned, and if we don't deal with him, he'll disappear when we go to do an actual thing. We spent 30 minutes just talking about diddly dees, but let's see. Since this will be a simple one, let's see. We'll have. Who should we have go in there? Sumia. Hmm. Trying to think. Also, apparently, uh, Dancer is a 30 level class as well. For some reason. Drives me mad. Sully, and I guess Tharja. And I don't really care about formation, this is a simple one. Now let's see. Frederick can go with Vike. And yeah, we'll have Vike out there doing stuff. Let's see. Trying to think who should go with who. Oh, there's a... Oh, yeah, because we started out there in that battle area. We'll send him over here, and... Uh, yeah, we'll have Cherish. Oh, wait, I'm a dumb. I'm super dumb. We need to have them get together and do stuff. And, uh, yeah, we'll have Sumia maybe try and level stuff up. And she'll... I'll we'll just come up here and smack this guy. Let's see. What do we need to level up? Nothing. You're good either way. We'll keep that for now until we get to the actual chapter chapter time. Everyone's going to suicide upon Sully. Just do it normally, separate. And we'll hold back so that they can get a bit more of knowing each other experience. Who are you going to fight? Precisely. Plus I can level up Vike some, which is what he needs. But he stabbed for everybody. All right, Vike, go up here and kill this guy, <laughs> and replace your steel axe while you're at it. Let's see, who else do I really want to give a level up attempts to? Definitely Sumia. Blast him with fire. And get some bully on. Who will you go after? Why would you go after them? That's suicide. Maniac. Less suicide because you're ranged. Slightly suicidal still.
Stage complete. Milord. Milord. I doubt that actually increased their relationship enough, but let's see. Nope. But now we shall continue with the story! Because that's all that was for. In fact, I'm fairly certain I'll never have to grind again. But we'll still try that, like, exponential growth thing and see if that's terrifying or not. Because it was a ranked as a two-star difficulty place. But who will this king of Plegia be? Will it be Aversa? Because I, I think Aversa is helping the Valmese right now. But I don't know who else... So yeah, it is you. Okay, weird. Or could it be... Or could it be that... Huh, but Aversa was using Risen. Then why is Conqueror Walhart coming? Hmm, we'll have to see. Greetings, Prince Krom. Plegia welcomes you. Aversa. What can I say? It seems fate has designs for me yet. You serve the new king, then. This... Motherfucking valid... But we killed that motherfucker! Well, Plagia is still gonna be our enemy. This Validar? I do. Really? They say he worships Grima. Why, yes, Why, yes of course he is Grimlil. We are both believers. My liege often says it was his faith that got him through after Gangrel's passing. It was a difficult time, but he kept order where there might have been chaos. We had meant to arrange an official visit to Listol, but uh, here's my lord now. We killed you. What have we here? <laughs> An honor to finally meet you, sire. I am Validar, King Regent of Plegia. The honor is mine, good king. Is it possible we've met somewhere before? God, it can't be! Oh, oh I'm quite certain I would remember any encounter with Elysian royalty. <laughs> Neon. Yeah. I know, he looks just like the assassin that came after Emerin. Because it has to be him. He has to be a tricky bastard. And you must be Lady Neon. Huh? You know of me, sire? <laughs> the whole world knows of Elysi's master tactician. And indeed, I see the sparkle of wisdom in your eyes. Listen. But we killed him, Neon. Hmm. I know, but the resemblance... It's uncanny. Right. How could he possibly? Hmm. My, the negotiations haven't even begun, and already so much whispering. <laughs> My apologies, King Validar. We meant no disrespect. Krom? Krom, what should we do? We need right. those boats. Nothing for now, but stay close and be ready for anything. Now then. then let us get to it. Plegia can offer no soldiers, but we will provide 800 warships and 200 transports. In addition, we could be pleased to fully fund the campaign against Valm. What? That is surprisingly generous of you, my lord. We could not ask for more, quite literally. You offer most of all your assets. I would give troops as well, but our army remains in shambles for the last war. I trust the gold in ships will suffice as a sign of our commitment to the cause. I don't trust them primarily because technically they probably don't even need soldiers. They they probably have frickin' Risen working for them. My going theory is if they are not like it is entirely possible that Aversa and Validar did like go and do something to get the conqueror conquering. And them coming over here is just more like political stickity stuff to weaken Elise, Elise and Ferox to get the Fire Emblem and bring forth Grima. Thank you. Of course it will. Thank you, King. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Say that weird. Thank you, King Validar. <laughs> the honors is ours, my prince. I look forward to building a strong bond between our two nations. <laughs> As do I. Then if there's nothing else, my men and I must hurry back to Port Ferox. Oh, so soon, but I have one more introduction to make. 
Yes, and who would that be? A Hierophant, the highest of her order in all Plegia. And who would it be? Who is this? Let me guess, is this gonna be like a Shersh, but for these guys? Why are you wearing my outfit? That is my robe. Um, so, you lead the people in worship. We were just discussing religion earlier. Who are you? I'm sorry, have I said something to offend you? Hmm. The heart still sleeps, but the blood flows through it, and the blood is strong. <clears throat> huh? Beg pardon? Were you talking to me? This is weird. Explain. Good Hierophant, I would ask you lower your cow. In Elise, it is a courtesy expected of one in the presence of royalty. Yes. You are a long way from Elise, sir, but very well. What? <laughs> what the fuck? What? What? <laughs> what? Oh! Um, um, <laughs> what manner of trickery is this, or did I literally come from the future? Ah, uh -huh. okay. Is that better? What? By the gods! What manner of sorcery? No. She looks just like me. My name is Neon. Oh, and what it was your name as well, wasn't it? And that was your name as well, wasn't it? What a strange coincidence. Now then. Why, that is rather curious. Now that you mention it, what are the odds? In any case, I believe we are finished here. We'll let you be on your way. Wait! Hold just one moment! Oh. My lord. Listen. What is the meaning of this? Why do your hair offend to Neon? I'm afraid we've no time for such trivial matters now, your highness. We have aid preparations to attend to, and you have a long, hard journey ahead. Oh, and do be careful on your way to Port Ferox. This time of year, the high roads of Plegia can be quite treacherous. This, the, 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 the fuck? Is that a body in the back back there? Or is it just a rock? It's no use. I can't sleep. Who was that woman? How could she bear my same face? Neon. Heed me, Neon. Who's talking? Huh? Huh. Who's there? There's no one. I'm alone. Heed my call. Fuck, it's Validar. Heed my call, Neon. This voice is in my head. Who are you? What's happening? Why do you close your heart to him, Neon? Uh, Validar? Have you truly forgotten? You were calling me... Ah, my head! Get out of my head! <laughs> <laughs> Such arrogance. You dare take such a tone with your own father? Well, all righty then. Sure. My what? You are of my flesh, but of sacred blood. You are to serve a glorious purpose. But this doesn't really make much sense either because... Huh. I can only imagine that Validar is going to betray, like, the... Because, okay, I... I am assuming that everything played out normally in the Dark Timeline that Lucina came from, and the Risen came from, and presumably I came from. And in that timeline, a lot of things happened. Imarin was killed... I'm going to assume that Gangrel was still killed, and but things were just a lot more bloody. And for whatever reason, that world's Neon, or Herophant, swapped over to the Shepherds. 
to then fight Validar because he was probably doing something very fucked up. I'm going to assume that this is the Validar from the Dark Timeline. Like he locked himself in my head. Search deep in your heart. You already know it is your destiny. No, get out! Why do you resist us, Neon? Your rightful place is at my side. Not wasting your time with these doomed servants of Naga. Give yourself to Grima. Let me join your strength to the Fell Dragon. Hey. Neon! What? Ah, not this one again. No matter. In time, you will see the truth. And that is all it will be. A matter of time. Neon, are you alright? I heard shouting. Yeah, uh, I think so. Yes, Crom, thank you. I'm, I'm fine. Listen, fine is a poor choice of words. What's happened? <sighs> King Validar, he, he spoke to me in my mind. He said I was his, his daughter. What? what? Is this true? <laughs> I don't know, but I also don't know it's a lie. Loath as I am to say it, I felt a, a strange connection between us. The hand. That's what the brand is. The exalt and royal family, the exalt family of Elise, of Elise, bear the brand of Naga, the holy dragon. While the Hierophant and, like, I guess the, like, uh, the dark sorceress, fa dark sorcerer family of Plegia bear the brand of the fell dragon Grima. That's what I'm going to assume. Oh, gods. That Hierophant doppelganger. Could she be the king's daughter as well? Are you twins? <clears throat> I, I'm sorry, Krom. I can't remember. But if I'm being honest, it would explain much. I'm not even sure I want to know the truth of my past anymore. No. You are yourself. Before you are any man's daughter, remember that. Right. Thank you, Krom. You all right? Can you walk? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I think so. Are we going to get ambushed by Risen on these treacherous roads? My lord. My lord, we are under attack. Risen have encircled the camp. What? But we posted sentries. How did this happen? Ah. They made a stealthy approach, my lord. I've never seen Risen behave like this. Either they are learning or our ways, or someone is commanding them. Validar. This is his doing, I'm sure of it. Equip anyone who bears arms, and tell them we fight for our lives. Alright, time to select units. Let's see. Who do we want to bring along? Mm -hmm. Then I guess we'll bring Muriel along as well. Well, let's view the map. I'm going to assume, yeah, that they're all just going to be risen. They have a sniper. That's not good. The fuck? A risen warrior who bears an axe. We want to kill him. A secret book. And also, it seems like this guy is going to stay up there. It doesn't seem like he's going to move. Hmm. And I'm going to assume these also spawn enemies. Hilarious. All right, so the plan is to go as a unit down here, and uh, then I guess split off to do that if we can. Let's see, who do I want to go with who? Obviously Cherish and you, so we'll swap. Let's see. Well, you should stay there so that Krom can run forward as well. And... I think that'll be good. Alright. First we'll save, and now we'll need to look over inventory. He has a bronze lance. Good. You need a lance as well, so we can at least have that on you. It's better than nothing. Uh, you're doing good. You're doing good, I'd say... 
you could use another steel axe. Or at least an axe. Yeah, we have extra steel axe for you. We need to buy more steel axes. Seem to be good. Seem to be good. Sure. We'll move the Tolion and the Elixir. You're looking good. You're looking good. And we'll give you an extra tome. Let's see. Let's give you a Thunder Tome. And we'll save again because paranoia. And now let's fight! Ah, oh, it's the... The fuck? What's that? A storm of crows? God, it's upon us! Hey! ka Are you folks lost? Or perhaps a lost cause? <laughs> Who's there? Show yourself! Gods, breathe. I can't see anything through all these damned birds! Shoo! Scat! Away with you! Who are you? <laughs> What's wrong? Claustrophobic? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I slay me. Not if these risen do it first. This is no time for japes. Hide yourself, boy. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought you were all right. Turns out you're all fright. Yeah. <laughs> I'd wish you a good luck killing these monsters, but they're already dead. What? We are well aware. <laughs> the ravens wanted me to give you a message. Caw, caw, caw. Roughly translated, it means. Um, now, uh, was that the word for again? Trapes, tripe. Oh, trapped, right. They say you're trapped. Gods. We know, damn it! Gods, where did they all come from? Wow. Well, see, when a mommy's zombie and a daddy's zombie love each other very much. <laughs> Perhaps I should save the Riz in the trouble and silence you myself. Aww. Hey, wait, I want to join your cause. I mean, I can help you. I know magic. What do you say? Birds of a feather and all that? What? Those robes. A Plagian dark mage? Why would you help us? <laughs> Oh, don't let all the joking around fool ya. I've got a kind of a thing for killing. Most funny people do, you know. The two things must be linked somehow. Ever talk to a jester when he's off duty? Those guys are some sick dastards. <laughs> oh, the ravens also said to keep an eye on those fortresses. If you're nearby when more monsters emerge, it could cause quite a stir. Interesting. Actually, I think, yeah, you two can pair together. Dark Mage. Interesting. Let's see. I think that's everyone. Now let's charge and kill! We want to take this area and maybe have somebody placed here to draw aggro, maybe, but either way, let's see. Who should get first kill? Let's see. Can you do it if you're... Do it if you're Bronze Lance. Level up some. I forgot to turn that on. I'm a fool. Turn them on. Blast with fire. Blast him with fire. Burn him to death. Let's keep leveling up your axe. Still kind of funny seeing Donnie with that big ass axe. But man, he just levels up so slowly now. Can't switch. Interesting. Ah, but we can't come up here, but then that could uh, put us into a bad situation. So we'll fly down here and swap to you. Let's see, Cordelia is alone. And won't get these guys here, so... 
Let's just set them down here so that we can all be together. And you can come down here and, yeah, hmm. Yeah, screw it. Blast them with fire. Well, uh... Oh, well, I'm a fool. I only have silver lances from my grinding. I, I did a bunch of risen uh, reeking box grinding at the Bobbidi Ba, the uh, Port Ferox, since it was the latest mission. I was like, ah, we'll do that here, since it felt like hero. Oh, you can move again, right. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I forgot that exists. I was like, what the fuck? Strike him down. Good job, Sumia. Level up for Sully. With a nice spread of stats. Go ahead, but don't want to go too crazy. We're probably going to be attacked from behind now. Of course, you have throwing axe, because you a bitch. You are going to die at the hand of small child man. Looking out for your teammates there, Frederick. He's only getting 10 experience to the kill. Probably because of all the grinding. We're probably not supposed to have this many advanced... Then again, they gave us Master Seals. At Port Ferox. So they probably expected us to have some. <laughs> Shall we? Good dodge there. I wonder if there's only that one sparkle, because there's usually like two sparkles. Yep, the other sparkle is up here. Let's get that sword training up. Won't do much, but that. to level up your sword capabilities. And we also need to level up Sumia's capabilities. Get up there and blast this man with your axe. Or hammer. Oh yeah, because your your axe broke. Imagine a barbarian guy just walking towards you without a care in the world. He's like, <laughs> you're gonna fucking die. Yeah, sure. I need to level up the magic somehow. You missed your ability to do no damage, fool. And then the fire broke. We didn't break the fire. You probably picked the wrong... Oh. Is Ruin a non-ranged attack or what? It's a long ball. You can do it from far away. A wholly unnecessary... Then again, he d does have like the double guard. Oh, you assume he's gonna fucking die. Don't you dare. Good. I really should have looked at that closer. Yeah, 
I'm sure the enemies can get closer if they want. Let's see what... Hmm. All right, then free to just do stuff then. What does Elfire look like? <laughs> wow. Wow, that is not the voice I expected for you. Yeah, sure, bass him with a sword. Oh boy, like six damage. Hilarious. And now the enemies are using silver weaponry, which I think are B rank weapons. Yay for me. But at least I'm gonna get a silver bow that I can give to Varian. If we used him more. Also, why do these guys have, like, sci-fi sniper eyes? Look at... <laughs> Sorry, Sumia, that is hilarious. These guys can slowly walk up on us. Let's bash this guy with a hammer, because why not? You're ugly get crit by a hammer to do like what 150 ah uh, my math is terrible yeah i rule i tried to be like what's that much more ah got bully on nice and kill this guy if your axe level up more We'll stick together just because we can. You're gonna throw an axe. <laughs> zero, zero, zero. You are terrible. Now die. <laughs> and then Krom runs a. <laughs> Krom has come to murder you and all your family. <laughs> he has to run all the way back. Oh, and I plugged the one that was going to spawn here. I keep forgetting to take the goddamn hammer off. Anyone else? We're going to go ahead and kill all of them. Because why not? And more bullion! We are not going to want for anything. Smack this man with, with an axe. What if there was an axe and a sword and you called it a swax? Blast you with a bit of magic since we're here. Get hit in the face, you weird man. You, you, you man! You stupid, stupid man! Perfect, because now we can come here and poke you from the side. You can poke a dead man back to death. And we'll save that sparkly for others. So who's going to fight who? Oh no, he's a 24% chance to hit nothing. Fool. He didn't even say anything, but he almost leveled up. Are they all going to go for Henry? This amuses me greatly. I'm a hex of a lot stronger now. Get it? wonder if they're just going to perpetually spawn from here. Honestly, I don't mind. I keep forgetting the hammer! Class 
dismissed. Go up here and poke him. We'll send Donnie down to the others. Murder. Murder time. Again, I keep forgetting that you can do that now. Oh, yeah, because you have Javelin, so we can place you here. I also keep forgetting that you have Javelin. We'll also poke you from the side, because we can. Every single time I kill somebody with Sumia now, I'm just like, wait. <laughs> That's a thing. We didn't bring any healers. So you'd probably be an improper one to try against. So instead, I will go ahead and uh, I will blast you with some magic. You shall not hurt. Get Ignis instead. Annihilation for you. Get Petal Blossomed, bitch. Silver Axe can go to the convoy. And you can stay back there before you die. Again, the possibility to do no damage. Oh yeah, I forgot you're using spears now. To level up your spear power. I was wondering, it's like, that sword looks weird. Because it's not a sword. It's a spear. I have no memory of anything ever. Let's get her done! Get her done. I wonder what, like, a full army of A-ranked allies would look like to enemies. Probably horrifying as they march upon you. Get Ignis and crit. Does Ignis only happen if, if I crit? It's hilarious. At this point, I'm beginning to think that maybe the... They just, like, spawn on alternating diddly-dees. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Hellfire. Yeah, blood. Again, just does not fit for what I expected from you. You disappoint me. Damn it. He won't get there, but we shall remember to put on the steel axe. Speaking of axe, bash, bash him in the face with one. <laughs> Don't get careless. But Frederick, I'm able to crush this entire army by myself. Darn it, they can't go there. Go ahead and go there. Yeah, just the same thing. I'm beginning to not really care that much about the, like, canned conversationals. We'll move characters up just a tad. Except for here, because we want him to fight the most. For leveling and relationship purposes. Yes, get closer to die. <laughs> I like how it just looks like he just steps back. He's like, man, I'm not afraid of you. Dear God, I need a longbow. A longbow for my boy. Virion would be a nightmare. And I would love him. Oh, 
I also like how at this point I'm just kind of ignoring the weapon triangle. I'm not looking ahead to be like, okay, I need to place, uh, make sure they're equipped with this weapon so they don't get caught off track. I'm just like, fuck it. Sinned. Considering I continually forget to equip the proper weapon when I know that I should. Amuses me. I shall blast you with, I guess, a Mark Thunder. Mixing things up a little bit. Oh, Jesus! Get triple spiked. And let's see here. Over here. Smack him down. Get axed. <laughs> Longbow for the boy. It's gonna be a wonderful world for Virion. If I ever bring him again. Bing bada ba bing. And now we can end. He probably went, I have a sword. I can fight this man with an axe. And Donnie's just like, now you die. And again, this is a man with an axe coming to fight a man with an axe. A child man. It's been two years. And nobody's aged. He still wears a pot on his head. This is Pa's lucky pot. Libra, it would be nice if you aided them. You gotta level up that sword. Good job, Libra. This is interesting. The, like, uh, way that everything is, like, uh, laid out will make it near impossible to surround him. Unless I have flyers do that. First things first, you grab that. You got some experience. Now the question is, who do I want to get the kill? I'm gonna say Vike, so he can level up some. Which means, Vike, you gotta get waddling. All right, so we'll place there, there. There, hope he can get close. He cannot. Luckily, I don't think any of these people are ranged, so. Unless he's the ranged. Ra ah, kill Prince! Ah! Are throwing axes even slightly a tangible thing? For, like, warfare? Kill Always <laughs> oh, right about one thing, we killed a prick. <laughs> the Vika is a lot of Viker. The Vike has become a man of murder. Right. That's the last of them. Gods, I thought it might never Crumb, Crumb look out! The fuck Huh? Uh, Just drop that bombshell, why don't you? Father, no! Who the fuck is this? Even an actual thing, he wouldn't do much.
Okay. Father. Thank the gods you're safe. Huh? You called me father. Did I? I... Perhaps we might speak privately? Perhaps we should, yes. Also, how'd you know to be here to come save the day? Timeline's fucked. I don't even know where to begin. Listen, I already know you're not Marth, though I have nothing better to call you. But I'll ask nothing of what you don't wish of. Uh, but I'll ask nothing of you that you don't wish to reveal. Whoever you are, at least owes you a debt beyond repaying. No. Thank you, but I think I'd prefer you to know the truth. Good. As you wish. Yes. Here, look closely, and all will be made clear. It's been a bit since we got a cutscene. She does look more boyish. Right there. I'm certain that wasn't there before. Brand of the Exalt. Lucina? Lucina. And he realized, I fought my daughter so many times. You deserve better from me than one sword in a world of troubles. I'm sorry. That's such a good shot. That's a good shot. It's basically a completely different style, but that was such a good shot. I'm so sad that, like, Smash spoiled this. I'm not sure if I would have called it, but they do have the family resemblance. Meanwhile, I don't get to take part. Even though I was right there. Understandable, because the cutscenes are, like, much bigger, especially for a 3DS game. So they could really go out of their way to make a version where the mother was there, like me. And again, what would happen if I wasn't the one to romance Krom? Because it's obviously optional. What if nobody romanced Krom? Who would he marry then? <sighs> Better, Lucina? I'm so sorry. Yes, father. I'm sorry, it's just all rushed back at once. Good. Father. <sighs> Should I call you something else? No. no, it's just strange to ear. I like it. <sighs> Father. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It'll take some getting used to. Krom. I'm sorry, Krom? Huh? Hmm? Oh, Neon. What is it? It's just that you two are out here all alone and Martha is crying. This is how ill rumors are born. <laughs> I trust you, Krom, but is there a reason you and Marth need to be alone? Listen. Can we tell her, Lucina? Yes. Of course. Huh? Lucina? Listen to me. <laughs> that would have been bad if Lucina said, Dad, no. <laughs> Neon, this is going to come as a shock, but I'll just say it. This is our daughter. Uh, what? Have you gone mad? Right. It's true, Neon. <laughs> oh, it doesn't say mother, ow. Please, look closely. Prove it with your own eyes by looking into mine. Do we get a bonus? Nope, just kind of similar. Uh, you have the brand! Mm. The same brand carried by all House Elysses' bloodline. No. My, my, I just keep tripping over Elise. Lucina's eyes bear the same exact pattern. Listen. Do you see now? Um. No, no, I can't say that I do. This is Lucina. What has befallen our baby back at the palace? <sighs> Nothing. She's fine. It's all right. Your baby is right where you left her, and perfectly safe. I am her from another time. From a time that is yet to be. What? You mean the future? Yes. Yes, more than ten years hence. After history takes a dark and most destructive turn. So you arrived- Oh, Jesus! That's not good! Definitely not good. Well, that's a clusterfuck of battle. He stabbed him with an axe. Well, that's rapey. Who saved the day? Wait a minute. Doesn't that mean that you're like 12 years old? 
Because you said 10 years hence. Interesting. Cool. Now the story's really picking up. Can't believe the war on Plegia was like nothing. But why? What happens in the future? Right. The fell dragon Grima is resurrected. His roar is a death knell for a man. A scream that silences all hope. For man, not a man. Bleh. Death everywhere. No. Krom? Our whole company? All of us dead? Yes. Yes. Um. I... I don't know what to say. <sighs> a tale that beggars belief, and yet... The truth of it stands before us. She carries Falkir, my same sword. And the same sword the first Exalt used to defeat Grima long ago. Right. Your blade and mine are one, father. It was... It was all I had left of you. Right. There's only one Falcon, Leon. I believe her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so do I. Heck, I saw her come from the future. She fell right out of the sky. I've never seen anything like it. Yes. Thank you, Aunt Lisa. Lissa. Naga, the divine dragon, feared mankind would face Grima again. In preparation for that day, she devised a ritual. It allows one to return to the past and alter events already written. I made the journey together with others, but... We became separated. And you haven't found them in two years? Don't worry, Lucina. If they're out there, we'll find them. Who else from the future, I wonder? Hmm. My daughter. Yes. Yes, Neon. Your daughter. Again, not saying mother. Ah. Oh. You've grown to such... Nah. You've grown into such a strong and beautiful woman. Krom and I are truly blessed. Truly blessed. Truly blessed. Thank you, m'lady. Hey. Can you not call me mother? I thought you might mind. No. Of course not. I love you with all my heart. Mother. Oh, mother. There we go. Adorable. This makes up for the bullshit support with Krom. This makes up for it. You are the finest daughter a woman could hope for, Lucina. Mother. Mother, well, I've missed you more than you'll ever know. I do find it funny that she's like, ah, yes, dad, father, has no problem saying that. Uh, eh? Uh, what? The fuck? Double. Why are there so many? Why? What happened? What the hell? Why? Why are there so many of them? Why are there so many? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What? That's more paralogs than I've done up to this point. <laughs> what? Why are there so many? I'm buying all the- I'm buying all the silver. <laughs> what? You serious? Well, let's do the barracks and the support, I suppose. <laughs> I met a new dragon friend. No, you haven't. That's just your base dialogue. God, there's so many. Oh, with Lucina. Well, Shersh and Vike, let's do you and save the Lucina one. Hey, hey Shersh. Oh, hello, Vike. Are you here to see Minerva? No. Nope, I'm here to see you. Actually, uh, I've kind of been using Minerva as an excuse for a while now. I just like being around you, you know? You're smart and funny and, I don't know, I like it. Oh, my. So you made friends with Minerva in order to get closer to me? I wasn't trying to deceive you or nothing. I just couldn't think of a better plan. How, How delightful. Brilliant. Look, I, I kind of got you something. Order it special and everything. It's a ring. See, I was hoping you might, I don't know, marry me? Well, that's very sweet, Vike. But what about Minerva? Huh? Oh, she'd be part of the family, too. Oh. Are you sure you want the responsibility? Feed costs alone are, are a tremendous burden. You can't just let her fly around and pick up random animals off the hillsides. Oh, that ain't good. I've been letting her roast wild boars and stuff. But, uh, sure. Uh, if you want, I'll buy her the finest Weverin chow around. I... Oh, and we'll need a house that has room for all three of us. God's beards, that's a huge house. I suppose I'll have to build it. 
But, uh, can it maybe wait until after the war? That should be fine. Oh, wait, another thing. Monkey meat, there's more? Listen, I don't mind. <laughs> I'm just joking, Vike. About everything. As long as you promise to be kind to Minerva, that's all either of us needs. Oh, that's a relief. I thought you were going to make a pauper out of Vike. So, will you marry me then? Thank you. How could I possibly turn you down? Of course I will. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you just made me the happiest man in the realm. I can't wait to see Crom's face when I tell him I've got the prettiest girl. <laughs> oh, Vike, Minerva will be so pleased that you said that about her. I wasn't talking about the Wevern. That's cute. I like them. I like these characters. They're all so good. Interesting. Thank you, Libra. I feel your words have parted the dark clouds about my heart. It gladdens me to hear that, my child. The parables you shared have lent me a scythe, my life a sense of direction. I feel hope rekindled in my breast. I cannot begin to thank you. Your path will hold its share of hardships, but I pray you keep the hope alive. I keep changing Libra's voice. Hmm? Oh, Muriel, what are you doing here? Observing that conversation just now. I fear it's hardly anything so grand as to merit study. I merely st shared the teachings of Elise to those villagers eager to listen. And were they receptive? I believe that faith will find home in them. Such teachings offer a guide to life and are a steadfast beacon in these dark times. I pray it will also sustain them in the lean days ahead. If the teachings bear such salubrious effect, why not share them with greater numbers? Naturally, were it possible, I would share them with everyone. Uh, but why do you bring this up? Hmm. By my observations, your methodology is highly inefficient. It vexes me. Yes. Inefficient? Yes. Indeed. Assembling an audience, selecting the venue, promulgating the message. A scientific approach to these factors would yield a far more efficient modus. No. Perhaps, but that isn't... Possible? Poppycock. Anything is possible. Given a thorough analysis of the germane phenomena, a sound theory will emerge. However, in the pre absence of empirical data, you might dismiss it as idle speculation. Therefore, I must prove it through a physical implementation. You will do what now? I will show that I will show that it can be done. However, I fear I am unfit to preach the teachings of Elise. In this capacity, I would enlist your aid. I will furnish the mechanism your words. So, I will... You know what I mean. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must begin planning post-haste. Wait, Muriel. Oh, dear. Again. This is amusing to me. Sumia and me. Hey. That's a lot of books you've got there, Sumia. Are you going to read them all? Hello. Also, I just realized this means that Lucina has joined my army. Yay! Oh, hello, Neon. Yes, this is a lot of books, isn't it? Someone threw them out of a wagon, so I figured I'd give them a good home. Whoa. What a good idea. I always find it relaxing to do a little right leap... Uh, my brain is there, like reading on in the evening. Well, oh, you can borrow some if you want. I certainly can't read them all at once. Huh? You don't mind? Yes. Of course not. Here, which one looks good? Well, I'm not sure. What do you recommend? Well, Let's see. Oh, this one looks like a real page turner. Shanty Pete, Shanty Pete, and the Haunted Pirates. Sorry. Uh, thank you, but I don't like to read scary stories before bed. Oh. oh, of course. Well, what about a simpleton's guide to Pegasus Care? Um, I'm not really that into animal nonfiction. <sighs> Well, maybe third time's the charm. Let's see. Ah, oh, this looks great. Wyvern Wars, Terror at High Noon. Do you perhaps have anything a bit more literary? Oh, Pegasus Poop, I'm useless at this. Useless, useless, useless. Just pick her out a book, Sumia. It's so easy, Sumia. But no, I'm too darn useless. Goodness, please don't cry. I didn't mean to imply... Actually, did you say Wyvern Wars? I've always wanted to read that one. I mean, it has Terror at High Noon and everything right. You uh, can't beat that. <laughs> Really? You want that one? I'm so happy. I hope you like it. <sighs> pretty hard. Pretty sure I have to at this point. <laughs> poor, poor Sumia. Broken down at life. Yeah, yeah. I know you. Really? You do? Pretty much. When I still fought for Plegia, we heard all sorts of stories about you. A silver-haired youth with a knowledge of curses and an extraordinary gift for magic. A man guarded by fierce crows so that very few had seen the true extent of his powers. Oh, oh wow! Now that's a reputation! Yeah, crows have always had a thing for me, I guess. Don't know why! <laughs> Perhaps you'd be willing to teach a trick or two to a fellow dark mage? Wow. Sure! You want me to cast a death curse on someone? <laughs> someone in camp? Hmm, no, that would be problematic. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Too bad, though. 
See, because I've got one that makes blood come out of your... What? Thank you, I get the picture. What's with the smiling, anyways? No one's going to trust you if you're grinning like the village idiot. <laughs> He's smiling. This is just how I always look. Hardly pre reassuring. Tell me what you're plotting and I may yet spare you. So Sorry, well. nothing sinister over here. I'm just a hale and hearty mage. <laughs> hale, hearty. Have you no respect for our ancient profession? We're supposed to be harbingers of pestilence and famine and doom. Yes, sir. Mm, I love doom. So he might be a weirdo as well. So Lucina is here. Let's start with Crom. Um. Might I ask a lesson, Father? I would love to learn the sword from you. No. You're a master in your own right already. What could I possibly teach you? You're likely better served training alone where you can hone your own style. <laughs> but I was hoping that you might... That we could... Hmm? Hmm? No. I'm sorry, if it's a bother, I won't insist. Hmm. I never said it was a bother. I just meant that with your level of skill, you'd be... Ah, fine. Go fetch a pair of practice blades. <laughs> Wonderful. I just so happen to have two right here. Well, someone certainly prepared very well. Let's begin. Yes, sir. Adorable. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Impressive as ever. I was certain I dodged that one, but you nicked my shoulder. Still, you had me soundly beat. Had you not held back on that blow to my chest, I'd have a few shattered ribs. I was right to think you still have much to teach me. We'll have to make that make these lessons a habit. What? Wait, you didn't just... Did you throw that match just so we'd continue doing this? Huh? Why, Father, I would never! <sighs> Devious. I see I'll have a... Keep a closer eye on you. <laughs> Adorable. And with me! Um... Mother, guess what? I found a wonderful dress in the town market. Huh? Oh? Yes. It was gorgeous. I thought it'd be just perfect for you, so I bought it. I was thinking you could try a different style for once. Whoa. Why, Lucina, what a lovely surprise. Now let me get a look at this gorgeous... Er, dress? Oh dear. I've never seen so many unusual colors and shapes in one piece of clothing. Right. I know, it's very modern. See all the giant pink polka dots? Is it a clown outfit? If you look carefully, you'll see each one is a portrait of Emmerin herself. I wager her when Father sees you in this, he'll just scream with delight. Hmm. I bet he'll scream, all right. Pardon, Mother? I didn't catch that. I'm sorry, Lucina. It's just that, well, this isn't exactly my style. I'm very grateful for the thought, but I don't think I can wear it. What? Oh, I was sure you would like it. Well, perhaps next time I go to market, you could come and pick something yourself. I know it seems frivolous in times like these, but in the blighted future I come from, I often fantasized about such simple pleasures. <sighs> well, Lucina, what a considerate daughter you've grown up to be. I'd be delighted to go to market with you. Delighted and honored. Wonderful! And when we go, I'll wear the new dress! Oh, gods, no. <laughs> Pardon, mother? <laughs> so Lucina's kind of a silly, a silly Billy. That amuses me. What is another one?! <laughs> what the fuck?! Okay, now I have to see. Okay, paralogue three, paralogue four. Right? I think we only did four paralogues. What is this? Paralog 15? Paralog 16? Paralog 14? What the fuck? What have I done? What happened? What is the logistics of this? Paralog 13! Paralog 10! Paralog 9! Paralog 5! Paralog 11! What the fuck? Uh huh. This is Paralog 12. This is Paralog 8. This is Paralog 6. Paralog 7. What the fuck? Okay, I guess we'll try at least a few of these because we need to get them out of the way! Paralog 6, I guess. Paralog 6. A man for flowers. Why did they all open? And why did that extra one open? <sighs> why do mountains have to be so steep? Uh... Here, have some water. Oh. Thank you, Olivier. You're a lifesaver. No. Oh, hardly. I just flay around and pretend to dance mostly. Anyway, I've started looking for new ways to be useful. <laughs> Your dancing is spectacular. It never fails to pick me up. Was that all right? <laughs> I dance like a ham someone rolled down the stairs. 
Just thinking of people watching me makes me cringe. Hey. We're near the bandits' camp, Neon. They've ravaged surrounding towns of impunity for too long. It ends today. Right. Right. I wonder why Olivia was included in that. Not today. Enigo? Enigo Montoya? Not today, rogue. <laughs> All safe now. All safe now, Buttercup. Enigo? The crying part is over, love. Now give us a smile. And perhaps a wink if a fellow can be greedy. Inigo, you stupid fool, the bandit you slew has... Hmm? Dozens of friends who will be terribly cross with me. Aye. Worry not, I'll mop up the lot of them and be back in time for tea. No. You mustn't, they'll kill you. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. I'd never let anyone ruin this perfect face. Surely you want them gone as well, yes? So that you may rebuild in peace? Oh, of, of course, course but... <laughs> then let us have no more frowns. A smile like yours is not a treasure to be locked in the king's dungeons. I'll meet you in town once I've sorted these pesky bandits. Perhaps then we can discuss my reward. Ho oh, ho! Who are you? Who is this man? Where the fuck are we? So there's a guy on the... Uh, Jamal? Jamal? And there's dudes at the web. Who is there? Uh, and then there's an ego. Who has Killing Edge. And an Ignite Cell Sword with a flair for philandering. Who are you? And apparently... Uh, no, that's just his movement. Uh, I'm going to assume that I want to get a crumb near you so you can talk. Alrighty then. Let's see. Uh, I would say, hmm, we're gonna throw Lucina in, because we need to level her up. We need to level her up. Father and mother, Crom and Neon. Huh. Neat. And what are your skills? Dual Strike, Charm, Aether, and Ignis. Interesting. What's SSSI? Fine to think. Who should we bring along? I guess my team. Like, this team should do good. We just want to level everyone up. And Lucina. Let's see. Who has the highest movement? Is everyone just eight? Hmm. I'm still wondering why Olivia was, like, a part of it. Which interests me. I don't know. Hmm. You're an odd man. Who are you? Why are you here? So obviously we want Krom to be able to get there to talk to him. Again. Everyone seems to be 888, so... More than likely, we want to come down. So yeah, we'll we'll temporarily pair them up so that they can run down. Maybe. Oh, they actually get there. So yes. Yeah. Either way, everything feels like fine. Let's see. But actually, I guess we'll pair Lucina up with us to see what happens. I suppose. But yeah, everything else? We'll save. And fight. Really? Their hold is just ahead. It should be... Wait, what's that? Gods, that man is fighting them alone. Come, let's lend him a hand. Lend him a hand? We shall. Talk. You all right? Hmm? Me? Ha! It takes more than that to wound a rogue this charming. Now then, who are you? Not an enemy, it seems. Hmm. I'm Krom, leader of the Shepherds. We came to deal with the bandits, so it appears our purpose is shared. Huh? Krom? Then you're Lucina's... Hmm? What's that? Are you... Lucina did say that she came to fit... What? What? P Come please on. don't stare at me like that. I get so terribly shy. Aren't you the one who's been staring at me? Why did that line seem so familiar? 
Uh, but yes, we share a common foe, and I'm grateful for the help. Can I trust you to defend this place? I don't know. What are you planning? You are a weird man. You are an odd little man-man. Who are you? <laughs> Obviously, I, I guess just a character from the future. I suppose, who came along with Lucina, even though he didn't come out of the goddamn portal of Lucina, but oh well. I don't know. What are you planning? <laughs> I aim to crush the rascals who make trouble for the village, naturally. And once the lot of them are sorted, it's off to tea with the beauty of the fields. <laughs> right then, if that's decided, I'll be on my way. Put the kettle on, Snookums. I won't be long now. He's nothing if not eager. Well then, I should think five kills would be enough to impress a simple village girl. Though six might earn me a sweet kiss. Mm, that is tempting. Well, he's on our side now. Come along, Lucina. Come along with mother. Let's see. Are you together? As you can pair together. Then I need to decide, hmm. Or I should decide, who should I pair up with the Nigo, since he's now under my control? Actually. Hmm. I don't know, hmm. I guess I'll pair him up with Sumia. We can do things. I'm going to guess that the walls are too much to fly over. Yep. They can fly around, but there's a bunch of griffin dudes. Hmm. And what is the objective of this map? Route the enemy. Alright, then we'll just uh, all head in together to fight the enemy. We stay eventually all the griffins will get to us and we get to kill them all go cool, fiesta i guess we'll grab this since we just can lucina are you uh, comfortable talking about the future i do like to know more you want to know about the future i've told you most of what i know why don't we talk about the few memories i have of you we could sit down over dinner i would like that very much adorable I guess we'll quickly, like, meet the griffins and take them out. Oh, Donald's alone now. Grab Donald and go! But, hmm. Because the one thing I, 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 like, I guess maybe the paralogs are all, like, connected to, like, Lucina's allies from the future? Because he, like, that's what I assume. Because, like, he freaked out at Krom. Like, I don't know. I do not know. It just feels odd. It feels weird. I just feel like, because... And also, it feels odd that all of these paralogs popped up after Lucina admitted all that. Let's see. Anigo, where are you? Anigo. What did I give Anigo to? I put an ego over here. Let's see. An ego you can't even kill anyone. And he got burned alive. Ah! Good job, an ego. Almost leveled up. Good boy. Good lad. Take down these griffin riders. I do like the various, like... <laughs> the falling of the griffin is slightly amusing. That was a nice trick there. Can we come by? We can! Let's blast them with the leaven sword, I guess. I should have had a normal sword. Ha! 
We should be leveling up Lucina, I just realized. Really should. I'll just smack him, I guess. Good job, Libra. Double good job, Libra. Stab this monster. How dare you cast magic. Now you die. Oh yeah, I forgot you could double turn, but we want the boy to smack some bitches. Want to level up the Donny. The Donny Donaldson. I guess now we'll move back so the other Griffins can come fight us. If only we're closer. Hmm. Well, let's see. Because you have decent stats, you should be able to survive, I say. Uh, we'll actually have Amigo be to the side, or else he might just fucking get murked. We don't want poor, <laughs> poor recruit man die. We assume we're gonna add him to his to our army. That's a lot of damage, you motherfucker. You better fucking not. Will you all stop targeting the one and only? We should have brought some healers along, I see. Neat. And I swear, again, th that only activates... If there's going to be a crit. Away with you. It almost looked like he flinched at the flames. Now slap back. Now let's see. Is there anyone that we want to feed Inigo with? I do not think so. Inigo would die. And that would be very sad. We do not want to do that, so we'll just uh, finish you off. Predictable. Predictable. Hmm. Now let's smack him. I think he'll do good. Get blasted of magic. Thank you. We gotta level you up so that we can turn you into a great lord as well. Chop down these ruffians one by one. Aether! Get annihilated by a spinning spear. Schmickety schmack this bitch. Ah, soul time. Get spinned. I forgot to turn that on. And as usual, we will slowly creep up on the enemies. We will draw them out one by one, since they don't seem to care to come out to play. I 
coming in. I wonder... And bring them out. Damn it, you're ranged. How dare you? Probably should have looked that up. You made a very poor mistake. Now you must die. Ooh, nice environment. Wait, I just realized something. The guy said, like, uh... Maybe we should soften some people up so when Nico can get some kills. Like that six, what he said. Hmm. Who do we have that's weak? Really, the only one I have that I can think of is her with sword. Which I think this might... That's so low, though. Well, this is probably the best chance we got. Smack him, sword. Is there anyone else? Like, maybe you with magic? Don't crit, please. Damn it! All that work down the drain. Because, because, it just feels, like, I don't know, the fact that he specifically said, like, ah, five, maybe, ba ba da ba. I'm gonna move you back. Yeah, I'm just worried that, like, his recruitment condition is very specific. And I think this guy is also... Wait, maybe. Maybe he'll live. Nope. Damn it, me! You have my gratitude. Okay, maybe I need to draw back a bit. I got a door key. trying to think. Damn it, I forgot that you're a healer, technically. Well, actually, yeah. Very careful. I'm too efficient. problem is that now there's a lot of dudes in here. Well, oh, scary. Hmm. Darn it, game. If only I remember that you existed far sooner. Because, like, he's a part of the army, so, like, maybe we are... What the fuck is that that I read down there right now? Father Long Koo, Mother Olivia? Why does that happen only now that I see? Mm. All right, then. 
Alrighty then. Oh, I wanna just okay then, sure. We'll mend you. And hope that he doesn't get annihilated. Oh wait, uh, this is a second kill. So we just need three more kills out of you, my dear boy. And I will be at a peace of mind that we're going to try and get a bunch of kills with you now. And then I guess we'll put Vike here so that he can live. Good job. Although that crit won't mean much. Does level you up, which is nice. So I created this person through my actions. Why are they all targeting him now? Why are they acting like such dicks? Yes, attack him. He can handle it. He can handle it dearly. see if we put you here the problem is potentially critting and I don't want to crit hmm. enemy is likely to get a critical hit hmm. well then I'll heal off you if you do. Unless we get a crit, which will suck. Don't attack, Cordelia. Don't you fucking dare. No, you bitch! Thank you for doing one damage. I'm sorry that I called you a bitch. But I'm sure that you understand. What you did was not acceptable. <laughs> I just realized I didn't break either of his parents. My bad. Hmm. I guess I can go here. I just realized I... I just realized what I did. Both of my uh, flyers are going to get nuked off the face of the planet, I think. He's dead. Don't double attack, Donnie. No, you bitch! Donnie, you whore! Guess I'll heal you as well. So I can then send you to the front. After our flyers get annihilated. Granted, I guess I can sacrifice them more than anyone else. Never mind. I guess. It's not gonna crit that much, but hey. Again, not gonna crit that much unless Sumia wants to join in. He is leveling like crazy. And this guy. Please do not crit. Do not. I forget how many kills he needs now. I asked you not to crit. What do you do? Alright, again. Do not crit. Please. That won't kill him. I'm too afraid to even try. Smite this man. 
Nothing personal. Nothing personal. Now I'm just thinking of who would be best to put there. To He's just going to annihilate whoever, so we should probably just kill him. Anyone else? Alrighty then. We need to be careful of these guys. As well as him. wondering how I should handle it, because I think... Because, let's see, Anigo, I think, has gotten three kills, I roughly estimate. Roughly estimate. I'm scared to bring him up, because all the walls are just going to allow them to nuke him. I think we're going to play it safe to try and lure out... Oh, except that's not going to work. Well, actually... Might... Because it's all... They're all... Aim. Hmm. Idea, I wonder. I want to see. We're going to come have him attack us. And then I'm going to see if he'll come following us beyond that. And then what if we just did that? Will we start following? Nope. We have to be in a specific range. And the Nigo cannot do that. Huh. And I don't think flyers... Yeah, flyers can't go over the walls. So... And what's with the door key? Is one of these a door? Oh, there's a door up there! So what I could do is... Alright, that's a possibility. Alright, Anigo, get up here. We're probably gonna do something stupid. Alright, new idea. To limit overall damage. Yes, I'm wasting turns. It's... There's no time limit. Oh, come on. I could have sworn that I had my well. And I have nothing to... Hmm. Okay, we're going to switch. We're going to trade. Yes, Chrom. And we're going to give you the door key. And we're just going to send him in. He's not going to die. The problem is, like, even the boss is going to come forward after that. Door. Don't really care about that because it's just the bug standard. And now they're going to come die one by one, presumably. Goodbye, you're double going to dead. Shame, he would have been handy to feed to an ego. Mr. Montoya. All who defy the will of Grima will be purged in the flames of destruction. Is this like an Anigo Montoya reference? I do not know. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We all know. And now you're gonna die. When you would have been handy to feed to an ego. Crom wins by just standing there. Why are you killing yourselves?
They're just killing themselves upon the throne of Marth. Okay, this might help. They'll blur them one by one. Okay, now the question is... Who can do minimal damage without prompting multi-attacks? Like, maybe I should split up and have... But then Lucina is liable to maybe get nuked. Liable to get... He's also at threat of being annihilated as well when he is our darling little boy. All right, we're gonna let you come forth because we need to feed the boy. With rapier, please don't crit. You're gonna kill him, Mark. Motherfucker. All right, I think we did just enough, but now we risk uh, an ego being a not. No, no. Damn it. God fucking damn it. I hate this. This is a stupid thing. I better not be real. You better not be real. You better not be a real thing. I swear to you. Better not be a real thing. The problem is now the weird, because he's probably going to kill himself. Why? Then again, he'll, he'll probably back up, unless he's dumb. It is entirely possible that they're just very fucking dumb. Well, I don't know. And this guy's also very dumb. And now he's come to die. I guess what I could do is maybe put all melee people on the attack. But, and like, maybe guard Inigo on the way there, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Good, you've opened yourself up to death. Inigo, come murder this fool. I believe that's kill number four. Let's aim for two more. Because I'm insane. And we will... Not be doing that. Although we could switch. And then heal. I don't think it's there. If it's there. And always. We will send a pipeline of people. Down, I suppose. I'm right here. You all right? It's just kind of annoying of like how we have to like whittle waddle our way down. That they kind of don't. <sighs> At least it's rout the enemy. We just have to be scared. Of the big bad bad man over there with his 
fucking bows. We just gently back up like this. That way he can't shoot our Pegasus. I'm gonna see if I can just slowly slink back. Anigo is here. Can Anigo kill this guy? Probably not. And I don't want to risk him too much. Hmm. I'm scared of the bonuses because we just need a handful more. Also scared of these guys. Luckily, only one of them can attack him at once. Well, let's try. I guess I'll put on the rapier. Oh, you're dead. Damn it. Lord Grima, rain down retribution. I was like, maybe I won't kill this guy. Damn it. I accidentally killed the man. Oh, hey, maybe this guy's gonna die now. Switch and smack this guy dead after taking a lot of damage. God damn it. Hmm. I think they can survive one more. Except I'm going to uh, items. Put on the lance. Yes. I should kill him in one go. But I just want to have nearby just in case. Booyah. And the last kill should also go to you, unless you get nuked off the face of the planet. Do not get nuked off the face of the planet. That would be very mean. Oh, he's just going to attack them. Good, that works for me. That really works for me. Die. Ever since the hidden thing, well, not really. The, the, considering that Donnie was the tutorial paralog, it's like, hey, if you do thing with the recruited at the beginning of thing, things will happen if you do things with them, and it scares me now. Now I'm overly paranoid. Somehow still Crom and Sully were the heroes. And that's the last of the bandits. The hold is reclaimed. Ah. The villagers will sleep better for our good works, my lord. Oh, I can't begin gods. to thank you, good sir. No. Actually, an ego did most of the heavy lifting on this one. Right. He is so terribly brave. Part of me wishes I could have been there to witness it. Er, but yes, please accept this gift from all of us villagers. Your kindness flatters me. If bandits ever trouble you again, you need but call and we'll come running. 
Rebuilding a town is hard work, but I trust you'll be just fine. Thank you. We'll do our best. Got an elixir, a killing edge, a speed wing, a bullion, a hammer wing. Okay. Hey there. Um, Olivier? Uh, might I have a moment? Huh? What? With me? Why? Wait, how did you know my name? <laughs> a little bird tweeted it out, so is that a yes? Um, all right, I guess. Uh, yes, you see, I mean to say is... God, this is much harder than I've checked up other girls I've met. I suppose it would be the quickest to just show you this. Um, my ring? But I'm wearing it. How did you... <laughs> Indeed. It does. How does Inigo have your ring when there is only one in all the world? Unless it is your ring and I brought it back from the future. <laughs> what? You mean like Lucina? Quite. Exactly. I knew my mother was a dancer, you see. So I've been scouring the land looking for all the dancers I could find. Not the worst job in the world, mind. <laughs> but now I finally found you, mother. And my dancing is all the better for it. Oh, you dance? Hmm. Uh, sort of, yes. That is to say, I try my best. But some people don't appreciate male dancers. Not that I care. I'm content to just shake my hips for the ladies. <laughs> oh, don't listen to them. I think it's wonderful. I'd love to watch you dance sometime. Huh? No, impossible. I'd be far too embarrassed for that. Besides, I'd rather watch you dance. Oh. But no, I couldn't possibly. Come I'm shyer than you are, Mother. Was that you, you are not. This is hilarious. <sighs> Would you two stop it already? Now I'm the one who's getting embarrassed. <sighs> at least, at last, tea time has arrived. Hey. We're leaving, Inigo. What? what? Right now? But but tea time! <laughs> War is hell, Inigo. Now come with us or be left behind. Huh? Fine, fine, I'm coming. I suppose there'll be more buttercups blooming along the road ahead. So All of these are future children. I assume. Well then. Huh. We're gonna have an entire video dedicated to recruiting all the children, I guess. But first we'll end with par- well, oh. <laughs> supports. Yeah! Yeah! Huh? Yeah! Ah. <sighs> <sighs> ah. <sighs> uh. I'm... Press, Sully. Oh, there's more force behind your attacks than ever. It's like trying to fend off a bear. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, thanks, Crumb. That means something coming from you. Your defense is rock solid. It's like sparring with a damn wall. Guess you haven't been slacking either. I was always taught that the best shortcut is the one you never take. Nothing for it but to put it in, put in the hours. Ha! <laughs> I remember that speech. Damn, that brings me back. Remember playing Bandit King? How we used to wallop each other with sticks? Right. How much things have changed, and how much they haven't, ha! <laughs> but yeah, we played rough back then, boys and girls alike. Remember how we used to sneak out of the town to climb trees in the woods? Those were some damn good times. Hmm. Yes, we've come a long way, Sully. Yeah, we're still evenly matched. <laughs> damn straight! No way I'm letting some cheese-eating royal leave me in the dust. That's half the reason I train, you know. So you won't have the satisfaction. <sighs> Sully, I hope you never change. You're the only woman I can still do this with, you know that. Hmm? That's because the other women decided to become a bunch of damn ladies. Ah, hell, some days I wonder if I maybe I... What? Oh, no, you don't. You're perfect, just as you are. I wouldn't change a thing, at least. We can spar, we can speak as equals. It's one small part of my past that's unchanged, and it anchors me. <sighs> Are you messing with me? Well, hell, Crumb, if it works for you, I won't go changing for anybody else. Good. See that you don't. That's an order. Right. Like I'd ever listen to you. <laughs> Lucina B. <laughs> Everyone in this town is so stylish. I wager we'll find you the perfect dress here. Oh. Er, yes, just so long as it's not too stylish. Frankly, dear, you have much more flamboyant taste in clothes than I do. No, wait. I favor the tasteful and understated. For example, what about this one? <clears throat> Gracious, I don't think I've ever seen such a shimmery magenta. What? Mm, I suppose it is a little bright. Well, what about this one? <clears throat> oh my, 
That's very lacy. In fact, it's nothing but lace. Lucina, I can see right through it. Huh? Oh, all right. Well, how about this one then? Hmm. Well, it's a nice color, I grant you, but I'm not sure about the whole octopus motif. No. Oh, I thought you'd like octopi. This is not going well, is it? Why don't I come back another day and pick out something nice for you? Um. Uh, well, I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but all right, let's try it. Right. Wonderful. Then I shall not rest until I find you the perfect dress. Something that you will truly, truly adore. Yeah. Oh, yes, I'm sure you... Hmm? Oh, look at this. Huh? Which one? The baby garment? Wow. Oh, isn't this just adorable? Look at the tiny little bow, too. Well, enough shopping for today. We should really get, be getting back to camp. Hmm. Don't you get... Don't you be getting any ideas, Lucina. Hmm. Well, we'll start with Olivia. Inigo, it's the middle of the night. Where are you going? Oh, mother! Uh, well, I was just off to shut up the ladies. You know me, haha. <laughs> Nonsense. The only things out there at this hour are risen. Now, may I have the truth? Uh, I, I'm, I just wanted to... Uh, Practicing your dancing? Huh? How would you know? Well... Someone said they spotted you dancing in the woods a few nights back. I thought you might be making a habit of it. I saw that? But I made sure to stay behind the big tree the whole time. Oh, that's so embarrassing. I bet they were horrified. <laughs> Quite the opposite. They said it was a breathtaking sight. Apparently they lost track of the time just standing there mesmerized. There's a, that's even more embarrassing. I'm not good with praise, you know. I'm used to rejection. And, and wait, lost track of the time? How long were they watching? Oh, I give up. I'll never be able to practice in peace again. This is going to haunt me to the grave. The grave, I tell you! Okay. Well, what if we practice together? Finding secret, out-of-the-way spots to practice is something of a talent of mine. Besides, it's too dangerous to let you out charge off into the woods alone at night. Together? What, with you? Wouldn't you be humiliated trying out incomplete dances with someone watching? Well, Not if that someone were you. You're my son, Inigo. So, what do you say? It would just be the two of us. Well, uh, that's really sweet, but I'm sorry, Mother. Huh? Hmm? Why not? Still not hmm. embarrassing? No, it not, it's not that. Well, it is, but it's more than that. Uh, what do you mean? Look, that. I'm sorry, but I can't. I just can't. I'm going back to my tent. Good night, Mother. What? Inigo, wait. I like these. <sighs> oh, Father, that gorgeous girl was just about to say yes to a date. Just about to. Did you really have to drag me off like that? We have a battle to prepare for, Inigo. Everyone else is ready to march. If you're mad, be mad at yourself for losing track of time. Uh, <laughs> whoops. All right, time to go trounce some enemies and find a village last to reward my efforts. Hmm? You're staring, Father. Is there something on my face? No. No. I was just wondering if you would like this in the future as well. Hmm. Depends on what you mean by like this, I suppose. Right. For someone who came from an apocalyptic hellscape, you're awfully carefree. Seems like you haven't a care in the world past whose bed you'll be sharing tonight. Lucina's so driven and serious, it's strange you don't have any of that purpose. What? No purpose? I'll have you know I'm extremely driven! <laughs> really? <laughs> Indeed, I will not rest until every woman in the realm swoons at just hearing my name. Your purpose in life is, going, is to be popular with girls? You literally traveled across time. To be popular with girls! <laughs> to be popular with all girls! Genius, I know, but stop, Father. You're making me blush. I... I don't even know what to say. What? What? It never bothered you when Mother would blush in front of you. No, that's not what... Where do I even begin? Suddenly I'm feeling exhausted. I'm going on ahead. <laughs> not a care in the world, huh? Not a thought in my head, he means. Yeesh. He's just as hard on his own blood as he was as on everyone else. I like this! I can't wait to meet more of the children, apparently. That have to apparently exist, but... All right, let's go over all the story because so much fucking happened. All right, so first cutscene. We go, we meet with uh, Mr. Jafar, motherfucker, Veridin or whatever, Veridar. Apparently he's our father. I presume from the future, we come from the future, I assume, <laughs> right? But no, that can't be. Or can it? Maybe it's a different future? How are we here? Because we have a premonition. Mark of the Grima. Or whatever. 
But who's that evil? The evil Neon, presumably. I is she our twin? I don't think so. Is it just an illusion? Meant to fuck with us? What even? I am losing my goddamn mind. No, 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 no. But yeah, there's an evil Neon, an evil us. Veridar is trying to, like, convince us to come back through some kind of min mind link again. What was, was that actually a premonition? Are we, like, a good half split from that other, the Hierophant? Hmm. That's so confusing. Uh, then Henry comes out of nowhere for no real reason. Abandoning Plagia. Then Lucina comes out, uh, well, says her name and reveals herself. And then apparently unlocks the capability of fucking all the future people coming by. I wonder how that works. <laughs> like... Obviously, in-universe, they all came out at the same time, but I just find it amusing because that explains why that other one only popped up when Vike and Chesh got together. Because technically, they weren't born yet. It's just a gameplay mechanic, though, but... higgledy piggledy. That'll be interesting, and now that we, we kind of uh, nailed something down with that, where uh, Olivia was a part of the intro... I wonder if that means maybe if we bring the mother along, maybe, like, because I presume. I wonder if any of the children directly come from the father. Wait, I just realized. All do, Does that mean that all S ranks have, like, a super child? <laughs> now I have to see something. Anna, can you get married? Anna cannot get married. Well, I guess that... <laughs> that's, that's that. Very interesting. Very interesting. I could marry... That is such a weird concept. The future children can... Marry into people to the past? What? Well, at least marry me. But all these are... These are all the other future children, I'm guessing. Interesting. Blah, 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 blah. I'm losing my mind. Alright, but yeah. I don't think we're gonna do any more grinding. Unless we're, like, severely outmatched. Although, I think next time we'll start with the, uh, like... Uh, what I assume to be the experienced version of the Golden Gaff. Just so that I can if I want to. <coughs> Because I don't like to do things for the first time off-stream. Even if it's a repeatable DLC. So yeah. Next time we will start with experiencing the exponential growth thing or whatever. And uh, then I guess we're going to harvest a bunch of future children. Okay. <coughs> Alrighty then. Sure. I'm losing my goddamn mind. But that's so... It's it's a very interesting mechanic. I'll give him that. It's a very interesting mechanic. I did not see that coming. Buggity, buggity, buggity. Just losing my goddamn mind. But... Okay. <laughs> but it's just so startling to finish that chapter. It's like, paralog, 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 paralog. All the paralogs have come. And it just fucking put the fear of God in me. <laughs> All right, then. But yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. We've been going for two and a half hours. Sure. Oh, sure thing. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you uh, liked what you saw, I have two YouTube channels, an edited content YouTube channel that I swear content is coming to eventually. It is Neon Icy Wings, and I post like reviews, essays, just scripted and edited videos that I want to make. 
Then there's also my gaming YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, in which I livestream to playing these various games and then upload all those recordings to for posterity as an existence. So if you want to catch up on, like, my Mass Effect trilogy playthrough, my Ace Attorney trilogy playthrough, my Kirby and the Forgotten Land playthrough, lots of playthroughs, you can catch them all there. But if you prefer to watch me play games live on Twitch, you can catch me playing games live on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. Other such things you might enjoy, like my little character in the corner, is I post art to my various websites of social media nightmares, like Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Inkblot, Pillowfort, Tumblr, so many sites now. So many of which that I got myself a link tree that holds direct... It's basically like a link repository that you can go to and then go through to see all the various sites that I'm on as just a night nice resource. It is link tree... The link tree itself should be linktr.ee slash neonicywings, and a direct link to the link tree can be found in the description, bio, link places, just about anywhere. Like the YouTube description, the about section, and like little diddly dees and Twitch, all the various places. How about that? But yeah, if you can find the various sites through that, as well as my places where I put my writing, and even my Patreon, in case you want to throw a dollar my way or read the rambles of actual fictional stories I throw out into the universe. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.